all right hello everybody and uh, good morning or good afternoon depending on your location or maybe even good evening for those who they are in Asia as usual our topic is about Islam and every day is a new day of ignorance what we do here we fight ignorance and you be my witness that all Muslims are a bunch of ignorance and they know nothing about their religion please invite your friends tell everybody we are here share around the link so we can have more people to listen and to learn <clears throat> you see one of the problems in the world is our ignorance I will give you a, a very simple you know like example how life can be changed if we know as an example <clears throat> Maybe it's not a good example, but just to show to make it easier for you. Imagine if you know the winning number of the lotto. Just imagine. Don't you think your life will change? You go to work every day. To make maybe you know demand which country you are working in some people even they make two dollars a day some countries you make a hundred dollar a day uh, some countries you make maybe five hundred dollars a day but at the end of the day all of them they are almost the same <clears throat> because at the country where you make 500 you spend 500 and in the country where you make 100 you spend 100 and the country where you make two dollars you spend two dollars imagine if you are not ignorant about the number of the lotto you can be rich filthy rich every week imagine you know that if you know if you go now in the ex in, in the car you will have an accident you will not go imagine 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 if you marry a woman she will divorce you or a man he will divorce you you will not marry her or him so we can see all the problems we have around us in this earth is based on not knowing knowledge is power ignorance is a problem Muslims they are not only ignorant people but they are trying to transmit their ignorance disease to you they attack you in your faith, but yet they do not know their faith. They've been trained, they've been told to go and say, Oh, okay, Christians, ah, your God is fake God. How God can be a man? But they will not explain to us how their God have a foot, have fingers, have hands, and he is compared even to Jesus. That's what is called ignorant, debating ignorant. There's ignorant Christians who have no idea what Muslim is talking about and they can they don't know how to answer them and there's ignorant Muslims who they have no idea what they are talking about and they accuse you of what they have one of you he said to me why you keep using the word certified donkey because there is a donkey which is certified and there's a donkey which is not certified and when you talk to me and I prove you to be a donkey, I give you a certification. How I can explain to you that somebody, he believe that God will give him endless penis and I will not call him certified donkey. How I show somebody like Muhammad, the guy who called us yesterday and the day before, that his prophet said, if a woman have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. And if a man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. And he says, yes, I believe in that. What a certificate I'm going to give him. A horse? A cow? You tell me. Actually, I'm afraid that one day donkeys are going to sue me because I'm using their name and their kind. It's not fair. In fact, donkeys are smarter. I remember once we went in the mountains in the Middle East and we want to go back home the the villager we told him how we can go back home if we lost he said take the donkey he said what he said take the donkey what a bunch of teenage 
boys, you know. He, we said, what do you mean take the donkey? He said, when you are done, just let the donkey walk and he and walk behind him. <laughs> you believe it or not. After walking all over the mountains and there is no way for us to know how to go back. We did exactly as the farmer said. And the donkey took us in a very short cut. Not only he took it home, he took it in a short cut, which we did not uh, imagine to, like we were very fast there. So but obviously, donkey is a smart. And he will not believe in what Muhammad said. I guarantee you there is no donkey will believe that there is virgins waiting for him in heaven. And no donkey believe that there is God, he will give him endless penis. And there is no donkey believe that there is a guy, his name is Suleiman, he have a flying carpet and he have 600,000 chairs in the top of it. And he carry all his kingdom. No donkeys believe in that. And even about donkeys, Muhammad did not leave them alone. Do you remember the story? We just played the video yesterday about Muhammad who have a donkey. He stole it from a Jew. He changed his name from a Jewish name to Yafur. And then Muhammad, even when he speak to his donkey, he asked him, do you like females? Muhammad, he tried to corrupt the mind even of a donkey. Muhammad corruption does not stop with corrupting the man of mankind, the, the, the brain of mankind. He his corruption extended to animals. <clears throat> Hello? How are you, CP? I'm fine. I'm good. Alhamdulillah. Um, what are we talking about today? Who is Allah? Are you calling me, but you do not know what you want to talk about? Yeah, I want to. I want to talk about uh, who is Allah and who, who is, is Allah? God according to the Bible. Who is Allah? So I uh, think Allah is like Qul huwa Allahu Ahad. What is that? Allah. What does that have to do with my question? Qul huwa Allahu Ahad. Is that who is Allah? Say who is Allah? Like Allah is one. I'm asking you how many they are. I asked who is Allah. He's the God, the Allah. You know. You see, <clears throat> that is the most funny answer. I mean, he is the God. Okay, who, your God, I know that your God is Allah. So who is Allah? The same God. It says in the Quran, isn't it? Allah My is, friend, this is not the question. This is not the question. I know that this is your God, the name of your God. No problem. I know what he mm -hmm. do for a living. He's God. Okay, now, yeah. who is Allah? <clears throat> you know he's God, yeah? Okay. So what else do you know? <laughs> Let me look at this. My friend, so I, who, I, I got that. I got that already. <clears throat> let me let me rephrase the question. Sorry. <clears throat> Your God Allah, who is He? Don't tell me now He's God. I just told you. I want me okay. to describe His attributes. This is not the question. I'm not interested. In, you you can you you help yourself. I want to know like help yourself. No no life. help yourself. Who is Allah? <clears throat> who He's is the Allah? one that we worship? Okay. Who is Allah? I know you worship Him. Who is He? <clears throat> He is the God of all the prophets. Still, you are telling me he's God, he's God, he's God. I, I got that. Who is okay, he? So what do you mean? Okay, if I asked you who is God, what would you say? Well, I say he is Jesus the Christ. But how can Jesus be God? Why he's not? A man. So so what? If God if God cannot be a man, he cannot be God because we call him Almighty, for he can do whatever he wish. Okay, but do you know in, is your God uh, Almighty? Hold on, hold on. Is your you God? Know, how could Jesus? Hold on. How could Jesus be God? Wait, hold on, wait. Because do you remember in Luke chapter nine, verse twenty-seven, when mm. the Pharisees and the Sadducees they said to him, mm. like his uh, followers, his disciples weren't washing their hands, and they used to tell Jesus, "Oh, why mm. don't you let them wash their hands?" And mm. he said, "It's not what goes inside the mouth that defiles the man, but what comes out." Mm. But there's a great chance he could have proved that he was God. Because what, he what could have mean? said, wash your hands. Because Muhammad said, always wash your hands three times. You know, do everything three times. Hmm. Wash your plates, everything. Okay. So if Jesus, Jesus says, here, he, if Jesus says, wash your hand, that will make him God? Well, uh, he would know germ theory because so many people used to die in those days because they used hmm. to die early. Because no, so, my, uh, 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 first of all, read the verse for me and you will see you are wrong. I'm wrong? Go read the verse. Yeah, go read the verse for me. One second. <clears throat> you said Matthew what? <clears throat> <clears throat> you said this is about washing hands, right? 
Yeah, washing hands. Mm. His disciples didn't wash hands. Okay. In Luke, wait, one second, sorry. Hello? What do you need to get picked up? What time? So Jesus says, wash your hands, that will make him God. Hmm. Okay, text me when you're ready. All right, sir. Oh, sorry, CP. CP, I need to go. Sorry. All right, all right. Call me back when you know. You when okay. you find who is your God, and don't forget okay. to wash your hands, please. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I, would that make me God now? Okay. Really would. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, funny. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am okay. I'm okay. I have just a dry throat because I'm talking too much. What I can do, I finish talking here. I go and get to receive calls in Skype. Everybody want to talk to me. People have problems, so it's not only on, like I mean, it's not only when I do podcast. And even yesterday, I did three podcasts, right? Two, three, three, yeah. And I made, uh, and then I made a video too. So it's too much talking. You know, you, your throat have a limit. Uh, so now. Who is the Muslim when I give us a call and tell us who is Allah? Anyone? Who is Allah? Any Abdul? You see the Muslim, always we see the Muslim as they pause for us this. Let me show you. I will type it for you on the screen. The Muslim they say to us, You Christian believe in this. <clears throat> one plus one plus one equal to one. A Christian who is supposed to trying to be smart, he said to him. No, it is one x one x one equal to one. <laughs> what a joke! Both of them they have no idea what I'm talking about. What one x one x one? What is that? And what one plus one plus one? What is that? Who told you believe that one plus one or one x one? This is a false explanation. God is one. This is not about X. This is not about plus. This is about God. He presents himself in a person as he wish, as he is. If God cannot be God, then cannot be God. To make it simple for the slow one. If God cannot be man, which means this is his wish to appear to us as a man, then he cannot be God. We call him Almighty, for he is Almighty God who can do all what he wished to do. This is not about one plus one and one x one. That is a stupid. Why you call God God if he cannot? Be God. If we look at the Muslims' Quran, which is a very funny book, let us take a look. We will find the following. And by the way, I'm saying funny book, not to insult, but it's funny, and you will you will see with me in a second. <clears throat> in chapter 19 verse number 17 uh, and 11 it says that Allah he sent his spirit to Mary and his spirit appeared to her as a perfect man okay question who is the spirit the Muslim they say this is an angel that's one wonder wonderful are you saying that the angel is more capable of your God? So he can do incarnation for himself to take a shape of a man, but God cannot do so?
any Muslim are you saying to me that your angel because Muslim they say this is an angel are you saying to me that angel is more powerful than your God so he can come as a man but your God cannot do we have any Abdul in the bushes who is Abdul in the bushes would like to give us a call and explain to us what's going on something fishy here you Muslims look like you believe that an angel is more capable of your God do we have any Muslim in the bushes do you see how funny the logic of the Muslims the Spirit of Allah came to Mary in a perfect man question why how as long you you refuse the idea of incarnation by the way there's nowhere here it says that this is an angel it says we sent to her our spirit and the spirit appeared to her as a perfect man and as you see we are showing you many translations choose the one you like all of them they are liars Any Abdul? <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim who would like to call us, please? Who is a Muslim? He have any explanation? So the Muslims they attack you usually of something they have themselves and they claim they don't have it you believe in incarnation not only that even Allah he will do incarnation and we will show that later and we show it millions of times somebody's asking me about mark 13 32 my friend in Mark 13 32 Jesus did not say that he did not know the, the the hour because if you read the holy chapter you will see that he knew the hour or what he's saying to you if you read if you read the whole chapter you will see that in Christianity the judgment day is not preset it's based in our sin the more we the faster we sin the faster we corrupt do you remember the story of Sodom and Gomorrah if there is only 10, 10 people, righteous people, God will not destroy the city. All right? So, Jesus said when this happened, and this happened, and this happened, and this happened, read the whole chapter, don't quote a verse. When this happened, and this happened, and this happened, and this happened, judgment day will happen, and that will come. And those things based on a free will, when everybody betray everybody when everybody became a criminal when everybody became corrupt when the whole earth became evil earth then the Lord will come so that is about how fast we are going to be corrupting ourselves do you understand what I'm saying <clears throat> do you understand me it's like saying how how fast I'm going to throw the apples in the garbage the answer is very simple when it's damaged when it's damaged the apple is the one who control itself you are a human being you are an apple you decide to corrupt or not to corrupt yourself so when the whole society this is not about God knowing this is about God he gave you freedom to be or not to be to be corrupt or to be a righteous person so we are the one who will decide when the judgment day will come by our corruption and then the Lord will come so let's make it simple God he said to us go live go live and multitude have babies have children live enjoy your life do whatever you wish but there's a time I will come to you and that time you decide when you are going to be judged that's time when there's no righteous people left behind 
have you debate atheist i cannot debate atheist because the atheist always they they win the debate from the first two minutes especially if they knew that i like banana an atheist will ask me do you like banana i say yes you see i told you you used to be a monkey additional point an atheist he can use against me i'm very hairy to the point even once they kicked me out from the swimming pool they thought i'm wearing my clothes i told them i'm not wearing anything this is my hair so if an atheist he knew that he will use that against me to prove that we are monkeys so we cannot debate atheist sorry i mean why in the world you want to debate an atheist somebody he debate you to convince you that he is an animal just say to him you're an animal and go somebody want to spend his day to convince him that he is a monkey say well you know what you are a monkey okay are you happy why do you want to waste your time with such an animal he believe he's an animal i would debate him about what it's a waste of time you ask an atheist why you don't sleep with your mother he says it's not right who told you that don't you believe you're an animal since when animals they believe it's not right to sleep with their mother They try to deny Christianity, but in fact, they keep holding in many of Christian, you know, Christianity teaching. Otherwise, where do you get this from that you cannot sleep with your mother? Aren't, aren't you a person who believes you're an animal? Hmm? Don't aren't you a person who believe that uh, uh, you know you are born of of a sex accident? Simply, your dad was taking the bus, and your mom she was in the front of him. And then the driver he put the brake and boing, sex accident. This is what they believe. This is why I don't take the bus. What if an atheist woman in front of me, and later she will accuse me I made her bread net. Now, do we have a Muslim can tell us who is Allah, guys? Why we have only five hundred people here? Okay, hold on. We are going to have the versions of Allah. They will do a fashion show for us. Let us see then how many people they will be here and they are listening and they are watching. All the Abdul in the world. By the way, Muhammad, he said that if those versions, one of them, she show her finger. I don't know which one, by the way. Don't, don't take me wrong. I don't mean the middle one for sure. If she show her finger, Hmm? The perfume from her finger will cover the east and the west. I mean, my friend, if the virgin, Al Hur, she show her finger, she would do that. What if she show her uh, uh, nipples? Look how he deceived them and look how he seduced them. What does that mean exactly? What do you mean if she show her finger? The perfume is going, the perfume of this woman, the smell of this woman will cover the east and the west. Hmm? What is that? How the version she walk? Let me let me try to find you some hadith. Hold on, it's time to show some reference. Let us see if we can find reference in in English. Let us hope we will find them in English. But we could not find this one. Okay. Um, let us see. Give me a second. The, this is the problem, by the way. 
it is how to show you things in a language you understand all right All right, let us see. Description of the whore. By the way, he is in Arabic, it is whore. It sounds like a whore. And obviously, this is what she is made for. She is made for sex. What is the description of Al Hur al Ain stated in the Quran and Sunnah? All right. Okay. <clears throat> the answer, brother. The answer is coming. Get ready. Please be patient and don't do anything wrong. Don't get excited. Don't get horny. Pleasing the most merciful entire blah, 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 blah. Okay, ultimate believe in women and women should be okay. If a person depart of his word having on his pleasure of Allah and then he will have a glad tiding. Okay, okay, okay. Therein shall have all that your inner slave desire. What a crazy promise. Anything inside you you wish to have, you will have in the heaven. Anything? What if somebody want to have sex with Muhammad? What if somebody want to have sex with the mother of Muhammad? What if somebody is a gay, homo? Hello, any Muslim? Continue. <laughs> An entertainment from Allah. Eesh. Entertainment? This is the entertainment of Allah. Whatever you wish. Go, just get in. What do you want? Wherever you wish. Wherever, wherever, wherever you wish. Mm. Okay. As long Allah he will give us whatever we wish how come Allah did not mention the internet big screen TV I mean or what Allah mentioned in his Quran I will have grape fruits ginger wine mixed with ginger which is disgusting and uh, boys and virgins and even the meat is only one kind it is bird meat one of the best things that people long for the hereafter for men and uh, the women of paradise if, 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 one of the best things you will have in the heaven is the women of paradise hold on what the women who they are in earth they will get in paradise why Allah want to give men women in paradise how are you Mulmat? Call me and tell me why Christians are pagan. Call me. There's a Muslim Abdul down in the bushes. He's saying Christians are pagan. Why Christians are pagan? Do they kiss a black stone, my friend? Did Jesus taught us to kiss the stones and pray around the stones and pray in the direction of a stone? Isn't it your religion, all of it, based on stones? Your religion is based on stones and the stone in the shape of a vagina. Am I lying, my friend? Am I lying? Is the stone which you Muslim kiss is in the shape of a vagina? May Allah plus the vagina of, of that stone. Are you there? One of the unique things about Islam that they have a black stone in the shape of a vagina, and the Muslim he put his head inside it and then. Mashallah, <coughs> and you can imagine all kinds of the diseases spread around the earth because of the Hajj. Every idiot in the world, he want to lick the black stone. Do you want to tell me about pagan, my friend? What happened to you? Why you are why you are playing dead now? Who is the pagan? Hmm? Who is the pagan? Is it true that the black stone used to be white like milk 
and because women they touch their vagina with it when they have their period and they put their hand inside the black stone the black stone became a black somebody saying the orthodox and the catholic are not christians who is that idiot you must be a certified idiot why they are not a christian my friend why you are being stupid because they have pictures they don't worship the pictures i am against having pictures but as long as they don't worship them they are christians don't be a liar and don't be stupid Jesus said, who is the believer and who is not? If a person, he broke the command of God, that will not make him a believer. All of us, we broke the command of God. If there's anyone of you here, is an angel. No. Are you a Christian prince, an angel? No. I remember I used to carry a gun since I was a kid. Unbelievable. So when somebody says that Catholic and, and the Orthodox or even Protestant are not Christians, he is being ignorant. Whoever believe in me and die will live. That is Jesus' words. The Catholic, the Christians, the, the Orthodox, the Protestant, they believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. They believe in the crucifixion of Jesus. They believe in the coming of Jesus. They believe that there is no salvation but by Jesus. So don't be ignorant, my friend. If one of us do wrong, that does not make him not Christian. This is why Jesus, he came. He said, I came for the sick one, which is us. I did not came for the one who is perfect and healthy. Don't copy paste what people, they say to you and false false teachers who try to divide the Christians. You see, the division of Christianity is made by the devil. Chapter 5, verse 14 in the Quran, Allah, he said, I will spread hate and enmity between the Christians until the judgment day. So the second you start fighting each other, you Christians are servants of the devil, Allah. And I refuse to be a servant of the devil, Allah. What lie? Look, your name is a mule. As long as your name is a mule, I want to show you something. Have to do with a mule. I like your name, by the way. I mean, you chose a perfect name. Read with me, Abdul. Your God, he claimed that he created the mule. Do you agree with your God? Do you agree with your God that Allah, he created the mule? Look what your God said. And he, I mean, who is he? Aren't you the God is talking? This God is weird. And he created the horses, the mule and the donkeys. Well, nice to meet you, Allah. I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised. I, the only those are three transportation you mentioned. Look like Allah. He never heard of any other kind of transportation. Only those animals. He want to tell us. You see the mule. You see the donkey. You see the horse. I created them for you. And we say like, wow, thank you, thank you. Who created Honda? Hold on, hold on. How in the world your God? He say he created the mules. There's no kind. It's called the mule. Mule simply is is a is a sex incident, you know. Let us say one one night stand date between a horse and a donkey. Allah did not create the mule. That's stupid to say. Are you there, Mister Mule? Who is a Muslim? Will explain to us why Allah is saying He created the mule. The mule is not a creation by itself. The mule is simply a, a, a horse. He went to a donkey dating website and he met with a female donkey. She is so beautiful. And they went to drink some coffee in, you know, Starbucks. And after that, he did not even ask her her name. What's your name? She said, donkey. What's your name, horse? 
they went to bed they have sex together and they get a mule like you are you there mr mule don't you notice that this is a stupid mistake in the quran Let us continue. Guys, don't text me in Skype. If you want to call, call. Uh, call me only if you are a Muslim. Don't call me if you are a Christian. Look like we have a Muslim here. Any Muslim would like to call. May they, may they. A Muslim is needed. Any Muslim? A brothers and sisters in Islam. If you call me now and defend Allah, Allah will give you a beautiful versions. And look the description of the versions in the heaven. So one of the best things that people long for in the hereafter is for men, the women of paradise. Guys, uh, I got to go because I need to prepare myself to go to paradise. I am... You know, I need to buy some like land, like uh, uh, you know, underwears and oh, I forgot in the heaven there is no underwear. One of the best things in the heaven of Allah is women in paradise. Are you confirming to me that your God is a pimp? Hold on, we have a Muslim is calling. <clears throat> Call Abdul, call. Huh. He's calling me, but he don't have a mic on. That's something. It's a miracle. I remember actually once this miracle happened to me before in a Muslim, a Muslim, he came to my chat room and I said to him, come to the mic and speak to me. He said, I don't have a mic. I said, okay, come to the mic and I swear by Allah that you don't have a mic. So he took the mic and he said, I swear by Allah, I don't have a mic. <laughs> what a dumb idiot. How you say to me you don't have a mic and you swear by Allah you don't have a mic using the mic speaking, you idiot. So what were you using, a printer? He took the mic and he said, I swear by Allah, I don't have a mic. You believe me or not, I don't care. What? People, they were dying from laughing. And he was serious, man. You know, he's serious, really. All right. Let us continue. Huril Ain. And for the women, there is equivalent delight. What is the equivalent? Can you explain? Can you tell us, please? Guys, for the women, there is equivalent delight. Why? What do you mean equivalent? The women, they will have 70 versions too? Hello. Hello. Yes, my friend. Stop moving your microphone, please. Making bad noise. Can you hear me? Yes, but stop moving your microphone. It's making bad noise. Hello. Oh well. Okay. So, what do you want to say to us? Uh, don't move the microphone. Don't don't move it. Don't move it. Okay, we, we cannot talk to you this way. Sorry. We have a very, very bad noise. And the women, they have equivalent delight. What is that? What a liar. Muhammad, he promised the women that they will be 70 times more pretty in the heaven of Allah. That is the promise, which is very stupid. And I explained that to you many times before. But just to make it simple, imagine we have three girls. One, her name is Fatima. 
And Fatima is a three time more pretty than Aisha. And Aisha is two time more pretty than uh, Susu. And then all of them, they will be 70 times more beautiful. Nothing change. Fatima will be 210 times more beauty. Aisha will be 140 times beauty. And Susu, she's still the ugliest. <laughs> what a stupid religion. Yes, my friend, are you there? Hello. Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Huh? Uh, nothing is special, but uh, CP. Hello. Are you hearing, my friend? Go ahead. What do you want to say? Hello. You have opened my eyes. Okay. Uh, whatever you, you, whatever you tell us, I had already in my mind. But when I used to watch your videos and uh, you share you wonderful research with us then I realized that oh my god it's totally garbage and very stinky and very shameful so thank you CP uh, so you left Islam my friend that, you, uh, you left Islam <laughs> Muhammad you left Islam listen yeah. for ages I have given up the practice. I never practice such a horrible things. Yeah. So, uh, what make you leave Islam? Is it because of my videos, or before before you listen to me, you left Islam? Hello. Yeah, I hear you. What make you leave Islam because of my videos, or before you listen to me? Um. Yes, likely I think so. That uh, I I don't practice and I have given up it a uh, long time ago. But you have strengthened my faith. All right. Well, I'm happy that you left Islam, my friend. Right. Good for you. And uh, yeah, I hope you will learn more and more. Just watch my videos and educate yourself so you can bring more Muslims out of this cult. City, but can I? So just you one thing. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. Uh, why don't you work? Because the people in the subcontinent used to speak Hindi and understand Hindi or Urdu. Why don't you do some work to these guys? Because I don't. I don't speak Hindi. I don't speak Hindu. I don't speak, Hindu. I don't speak Hebrew. I, I mean, I don't speak. Sorry, Urdu. I wish uh, but you can you can help if you want you can help you can translate you can add subtitle to my videos so people they can listen and learn CP you want me to kill to get killed by those bastards well don't don't show your name don't tell don't tell who you are you can do it you can do it without telling anyone that you are who you are just do it privately don't share that with anyone you know you can go right now to my videos to, the, to my videos and you can add sub, you can add subtitle you know okay and you do not even need my permission you just you can go and do it so people when they view from your country they will see the subtitle nobody know you nobody hear you nobody know who did it you know okay okay all right, my friend. Thank you very much for calling. We will, we will, we will hope that small calls will come. Yeah. You are strength and and you are courage and you are one man army. Thank you. One man army. Yes, one man. Thank you, my friend. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes, one man army. All right. But why I am one one I'm one man army? The Muslim they think I have an army behind me. They think even Israel is paying me. Where is the Israeli? Where are they? I mean, how cheap you are. 
the Muslims accuse me that I'm paid by by the Jews. Anyone who make fun of Muhammad, they say he's a he's paid by the Jews, brother. Let us blame the Jews. Anyway, so here you see the stupidity of Islam. When Islam promised you to be 30, 70 times more pretty, because nothing changed, you're still ugly. If every woman get more 70 times pretty and went to heaven, that's mean nothing changed. You were ugly in earth, you are ugly in heaven. What a stupid promise. Muhammad, he knew that women, they like to be pretty. So he knew the weakness of the men. He knew the weakness of the, man, the woman. Women like to be pretty. Men, they like to have sex. So Muhammad, he promised each one of them what he like. Let us continue. <clears throat> One of the best things, okay, okay. The description of the Hur al Ain is mentioned in more than one place in the book of Allah, such as the following Allah described the reward of the people of paradise, interpretation of the meaning. And there will be Hur, fair females, wide, lovely eyes. I like wide, lovely eyes. I mean, man, that is exactly what I'm looking for. If there's any lady in the bushes here, she have a wide, lovely eyes if you are i just found my future wife main 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 that's my dream Eesh. he hit the nerve how allah knows okay uh, 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 brother what if somebody he like an asian woman brother but the top did the person his name is the creative print and that person he always make fun of the of the quran when the Quran said that you will have a wide women eyes, he described not only the eyes, because when the women they have wide eyes, it means they have more wide stuff down there, brother. And this is proven by science. Ah, it's not about the eyes; it's something else wide, a brother. Why it have to be wide, brother? Are we going to park something there? Is a garage, brother? Listen to me. Those IQ dating made by the person who's named the Christian print and don't ever listen to him. He's a liar. And by, by the way, I know how he looks like. He's ugly and he didn't cut him. And this is why he don't throw his faith. I keep saying to him, throw your faith. He don't throw his faith. Do you know why he don't throw his faith? Because he don't have wide eyes. Thank you very much. This is a religion? Wide eyes? What? What? I'm going to heaven to find women have wide eyes. Hey, by the way, it doesn't say that. This is a lie. The Muslims don't understand even the Quran. But let us continue. And there will be whore, fair female, with wide, lovely eyes. Al Hawra is a woman. In whose eyes are lined with kohel, she have line, she have eyeliner, brother. She have eyeliner. The prophet used to have eyeliner too. Should we have sex with him too? He used to have eyeliner three times a day. Beautiful and bright. By the way, this is this is all this false translation. It doesn't say that they are bright. It says they are so white to the point you can see the marrow of their bones. Let us get the Abdul busted with their lies. Bright, huh? Why bright? Are we talking about LED light? What do you mean bright? What do you mean? What do you mean bright? This is why when you learn Islam from even from someone who is a Christian, without mentioning names, those Christians they are going to read for you what they read in English, which is a lie and false translation. Read with me here. This is Sahih al Bukhari, brother. It says, the prophet said, the first patch of the people who enter paradise will be glittering like full moon. The fact doesn't say that. It says they will be whitening. They will be so white to the point they are shiny. And the batch next to them will be glittering like the most brilliant star. Why? Because they are so white. 
but here you notice something Muhammad he made something stupid anyone notice anyone notice who noticed the poopoo here in this story there's a poopoo there's a big poopoo who noticed the poopoo nobody okay all of you are fired no versions for you and females I will not make you 70 time more pretty who noticed what the what the mistake from the beginning no read with me the first batch the first batch supposedly Muhammad claiming that they will be the most white one the first batch this is why they are the first the one who enter first is the best of the Muslims okay so he said the first batch will be like a moon so Muhammad he believe that the moon is more shiny than a brilliant star and who told him that science Allah let us continue their heart will be the as of the heart of a single man if 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 if, if why they are going to war and if they leave uh, uh, and they will have neither enmity nor jealousy so you in the heaven of Allah you wouldn't have jealousy you are like an animal you don't care even animals they have jealousy if somebody sleep with your wife you don't care you don't have jealousy eh? Look, brother sleep with her I sleep with your wife actually in Islam there is something is called uh, exchange of wives and we can show you that from the Quran if you have my books, Six and Allah, the new ones, you will see what I'm talking about. The exchange of wives. The Arab they use to exchange wives. Hello? Hi, Christian Prince. Hey, my friend, how are you? Um, I'm fine, I'm good. I just, I, I have a question. Okay. Um, when my Muslim family refer to Arabic names being Muslim hmm. is this true or just made up in the refer well, first basically but uh, my name's Sia my name's Tariq okay all right listen I don't see it as a Muslim name I see it as an Arabic name all right yeah I know it's Arabic names actually there's nothing it's called Muslim name but by time the Arabic Christian they don't use names which have to do with Islamic figures to be their children names you know what I mean so yeah. it became Islamic names. Like you will not find a Christian call his son Muhammad or Ahmad or Khalid, etc. Now, uh, the word Muslim, the word Muslim is not Islamic. Muhammad, he stole it from a guy, his name, Musaylam al kadhab The Muslim, they call him Musaylam al kadhab which means Musaylam the liar. So okay. you notice that the Muslim, they call him Musaylam as an insult. Like, you know, uh, I don't know what is what equal equivalent in English like when you want to make something sound like you want to make fun of so like uh, like yeah, when you, you say a, a cow but uh, I don't know what you can say I'm not sure in English what what is equal what would be it, a nickname or a yeah but a nickname it, it's it, it's a it's a reproduction of the same word but to make him to make fun of him you know okay so uh, 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 his name is this guy he's a Muslim and he claimed that he's a Muslim and he claimed his God that he is a Rahman and he claimed that even himself is Rahman so this is why when Muhammad he said Bismillah rahman rahim for the first time he mentioned the word Rahman the Arab the, 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 the people of around him they said to him who is Rahman look like Muhammad he have two gods now he have <laughs> Allah and he have Rahman so he said to them uh, I call him Allah or I call him Rahman for Allah all the good names belong all right, so they accuse him of using the name of a Rahman as a, a thit. They said to him clearly, the only name of a Rahman we know is a guy, his name is Rahman or Yamama. Why you are saying Rahman? Which means Muhammad never used the word Rahman before. So Let us show the, yeah, go ahead. This is the whole thing about 99 names. It's just names that sound good or have good meanings he's applied to yeah he apply it so. exactly muhammad he he claimed that any good name it belong uh belong to allah like this website is a bad website we cannot even use it let us see here let's go 
Okay. Um. <clears throat> All right. If we go in the Quran, can you see my screen or no? <clears throat> I can see it. Muhammad, in chapter 7, verse 180, he said, al -husna. And for him, all the good names. But the problem is not here. The problem in this verse. Chapter 17, verse 110. Look what he said. And you can read the interpretation for this verse, so people will not say, I'm making things up. I challenge the Muslim to say, I'm making things up. Look, he said, Say, I call, call upon Allah or call upon Rahman by whatever name ye call upon him for him belong most beautiful names okay what hold on what, what, what do you mean what do you mean call him Rahman or call him Allah because Muhammad never mentioned the word Rahman before this guy he sent him a letter saying I am Rahman I am the slave of Rahman and I am Muslim Ibn etc and I, you know, I want to discuss with you about, you know, because they are in competition, both of them, they claim to be a prophet. Obviously, both of them, they are false prophets. So we want to have a, we want to have an agreement about, you know, your territory and my territory. It's like dividing the scam. Yeah. I so Muhammad, see. he stole from the guy, the letter, he just gave the letter. The letter says the word Rahman, he liked it. Suddenly, he wrote back to him. He says, in the name of Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. The Arab, they said to him, Okay, Allah, we know who's He. Who's a Rahman? The only Rahman we know is Rahman al Yamama. <laughs> so, so, so the uh, uh, so Muhammad now he have to explain why he is stealing the name. And if a Muslim he he want to say that this is not what it's there, we can go and see the interpretation. You know, we can go to the interpretation. It's it, the I, <clears throat> I'm I'm a Christian, and um, I have. Part of my family are Muslim. Yeah. So, you, uh, as I remember, you called me before, right? You, 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 you was a, you was a Muslim, and you became a Christian. Oh no, 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 no. Oh? I was, I was never ever a Muslim. Okay. Um, ever since I was young, ever, um, ever since I heard stories. All right. You know. Yeah, but I you are, just... but you are born of a Muslim family. Um. Yeah, but they weren't practicing at the time. Okay, but, but was, uh, according to Islam, you were a Muslim. Okay, no problem. Go ahead. Yeah, what I'm what it is, it's just I keep having confrontations when they speak a lot of nonsense, and I can tell it's lies. Mm. That's that's basically I just wanted to confirm with you about the names. So I I understand my name meaning. I actually understand it, but I don't think it's Muslim. I just think it's an Arabic name. That's it. The the source is from Arabia. Mm. Yeah. So. Th but they keep telling me it's Muslim, you know, and I'm like, yeah. I just wanted confirmation. That that was it. No problem. Okay. Well, I hope I did answer you, and you can check the reference of what I said to you, so you can see that this is what it is, and you can read a book. It's called a Book of Asbab al Nuzul, uh, which is going to show you what is behind the verse uh, which we are talking about, chapter seventeen, verse one ten. Uh, Muhammad, obviously, there's no question he's a thief. And if he likes something, he adopted. You know, he adopted everything around him from people around him. And he claimed it to belong to his God. Uh, this is the official... Uh, this is the official website of, uh, of the Kingdom of Jordan. And this is the book of Asbab al-Nuzul. You will see here is speaking about what happened exactly. Muhammad used to call upon 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 his God. Look what look what the idolater said. When Muhammad he he was making a prayer, he said he kept saying, in his presentation, uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, the the Ar Rahman or oh, Ar Rahim, and so the idolater said, Muhammad used to call into one Allah. Now he is calling into two gods. Why? Because they never heard Muhammad using the word Rahman. Suddenly, how come Allah forgot to mention the word Rahman before? Allah and the Rahman. We do not know anyone by the name of Ar-Rahman except Ar-Rahman of Ayyamama. Do you see it? 
<clears throat> I can see. Yes. All right. So Muhammad, who is that? Musaylama, the liar. Muhammad, he stole that from him. He liked what he say, so he adopted the name, and he claimed now that this name belonged to him. So when the Arab, they say to him, the only one we know with with with, 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 with such a name yeah, is is, yeah. is Musaylama. Who? Why you are saying a Rahman? So now he he, he wanna. He want to explain why he is stealing the name. He said, no, 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 I'm not seeing the name. All the good names belong to Allah anyway. I call him Allah or I call him Ar-Rahman, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Do you know what makes me laugh is that they stopped that free. They stopped that free names. When they obviously call the call their God, they stop at free names because it would be absolutely mental to go through 99. We see all the 99 names, by the way, is a joke because if you go through the names, you will find how stupid they are. Uh, yes. uh, you know, you know, uh, many many names like Allah is the believer. Okay, Allah believe in what? That doesn't make any sense because you know. Yeah. Yeah, what do you mean yeah. believer? Believe in what? I believe in God, but God so believe in what? <laughs> you know, uh, it's it, it, every name is a problem. Even when we ask the Muslim, like you see that name, the title of my my video today, who is Allah? The first Muslim he called me, he said he's God. This is not the question. I know that he's God for you. Who is Allah? Do you know? They don't know. What Allah mean? They don't know. That was the first red flag. You know, when I when I when I used to not recite, but when I used to read it, it would say that there is no God but Allah. So it's refuting there is a God. Full stop. That's the opening like prayer. Yeah. And, and then at the same time, why they start with three? I mean, what about the what the point? Yeah, it's this is what I'm saying is this is a very crazy cult religion whatever you want to call it and they don't seem to want to get out they know that there's a lot of crap in there in their books and in their belief but they don't want to leave yeah well they they, they are leaving my it's, friend they are leaving by a huge number and and and, and, the, and the proof is you they are leaving by a huge number you see the, the, look if you go in the internet if you go on YouTube you will find a lot of videos of people who convert to Islam, but you will not find videos of people like you who left Islam. Why? Because Islam is a terrorist religion, right? But the truth is, a lot of people leaving Islam, the ones who convert into Islam is a lot more less than those who leave Islam. So we have a huge wave of people leaving Islam. People, they are learning. The internet is making a big difference. Now we can reach somebody who live in Indonesia, but yet <clears throat> Christian Prince is here in, in USA. I, yeah, that's a, that brings up a story. I actually met someone from uh, the Philippines. Yeah. And she was literally reaching out for help to me because um, I started work and I met a few new people and I met this Philippine woman. And she would tell me every day how much she dislikes her husband. And then I finally asked her why. And she goes, it's because he's a Muslim. It's, he's very strict. He doesn't allow her to do anything. He's literally oppressing her. In a country that's designed for freedom, it so was, well, it's her fault it, to marry him. I mean, you marry a Muslim, he own you. A Muslim, yeah, he don't, he don't marry you. He, he own you. I had to kind of break it down to her. I had to explain to her. I goes, you're not, you're not, you're, you're his prisoner. You're his slave. Right. That's all you are to him. Right. And um, she, she just needed help. I said, I can't help you. You're going to have to ask someone that has a lot more knowledge and has, you know, obviously, the, 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 the. The intelligence of settling it without having too much chaos. So, yeah, but this is this is a case that I keep coming upon it all the time. There's um, you know, English white women that have converted because of their because they've married into Islam. They end up telling me that it was the biggest mistake they've ever made, and I can understand it. I can, you know, <clears throat> I relate to it so well because my partially my family is like that and you can't it's almost as if like you you have freedom but you can't think when you're around them you're not allowed to think you're not allowed to have this you know this connection with say with 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 jesus you're not allowed to have it where you can you can express yourself fully and you know enjoy happiness and be you know, if you can understand what i'm saying yeah i don't you know just you know you're just you're just full of life, but you can't be like that around Muslims. You you you, you have to play a turtle when you are a tiger. <laughs> that's that's the point. Yes, exactly. You that's have to put, <laughs> you, have, you have to put your head inside the shell of the turtle, and you don't you don't you are not allowed to, to say I am not a turtle, man. I am not. <laughs> <laughs>
Not a stupid cult. And if you try, if you try to prove that you are not a turtle, they will kill you. You know. Yes, that's yeah. that's exactly. I've, I've been threatened countless times as well. Yeah, and this is like my own family. It, it, it's crazy. Yeah. Anyway, my friend, thank you for calling. Yeah, thank you. Feel um, free to call again you. if you have any question. God bless you, Christian thank Prince. You. God bless Keep you. up the good work, and I, I, I encourage Muslims to call. Yeah, they will. They will. But now they are in the stage of turtle. <laughs> <laughs> thank okay. you. Thank, thank you, you, my friend. Bye. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we go back. <laughs> you see. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, you talk about the same way of Egypt. Hello? Hello, um, Christian Prince. This is Sneakers Corner. Hey, my friend, how are you? Not too bad. Um, I just wanted to share with you something. I've, I've been reading a book by a guy called Andrew Bannister. I don't know if you've heard of him. No. He's written a book called The Oral Form and Lake Study of the Quran. And he's pretty much saying the same sort of things you have about the, uh, the amount of stories being borrowed from different sources. Mm. And uh, he put the Quran into a computer program. Okay. And he found that um, most of it is metaphorless, which suggests that whoever came up with the Quran uh, gave speeches orally and was written down by others. And he was able to prove that. And so basically, he. he he argued that it was made up on the spot and that the listeners were people who already knew the stories and he was just making allusions to stories that everyone knew. So he argued that uh, Muhammad was talking to a mainly Christian audience. So it's quite a different picture to the, the usual Muslim story. Well, I don't think Muhammad was talking to Christian audience. I think he was talking to Nasara. It's a, it's a Christian cult. Muhammad in the beginning uh, he was trying you see uh, uh, it's like you know you you want to establish yourself you want to be something and you know that if you don't join a bigger group you are no one you need somebody to adopt you so in the beginning Muhammad he was trying to be uh, a Jew because he immigrated and he lived between the Jews and uh, he tried to be a Christian and you know he said many things in the beginning which is in total agreement with the Christianity but then when he noticed that the Jews and the Christian they are not going to believe in him anyway he decided to go in war with them this is why you see chapter 9 verse 29 Muhammad not right away he said I want to go and I kill the Christian and kill the Jews he had no choice but to wait until he is strong enough to kill them because he noticed that he is wasting his time they will not believe in him so let us get rid of them. Yeah. You know? There was a professor of a history professor in America, uh, I think he was of the University of Utah, and he explained the early history of Northern Arabia. And uh, he, he said that the key event was the Lachmids and the Ghassanids uniting. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, Muhammad isn't in the picture for the first decade or so. And so that it's a later fabrication. And uh, 622 was the year that they united so the muslims turned 622 into the the uh what you call the ha uh, not the hajj but the uh hijra mm. which was just met up to it was a backdated story met up to to make muhammad the most import important person that started the arabic state but actually it was other people that had started and, and uh he he argued that his job was to try and unite the different christian sects like the monophysites and uh, the Nestorians, and uh, there's a group called the Tree, uh, sorry, the Tritheists, who believed in three gods, which was uh, an offshoot of the Monophysites. And he reckoned that that's who Muhammad is referring to rather than Trinitarians. No, no, no but, but this is not really accurate. Muhammad, he never tried to unite anyone. What Muhammad is trying to bring anyone who want to believe in him, just believe in me, and doesn't matter who you are. You are, you know, uh, uh, you, you get my protection. I will give an example. This is Sunan Ibn Dawood. Uh, do you know Arabic? I don't know. Okay. okay. In Arabic, we have something that's called a Sa'alik. If you yeah. go and search what Sa'alik, Sa'alik is the outlaw of the Arab. They are the worst of the criminals. They are the trash of the, of the Arab. 
those are people are cast out by their own family for they are disgrace for the family and for the tribe which mean if I rape a woman my family what they do in order to get out the burden from them because now the any the, the other uh, family they will seek revenge they will seek justice so in order to get rid of this justice which is going to come upon me because he is from my tribe so what we do we cast him out we say we announce that this person don't belong to us his blood is free for you so look what Muhammad he said Abshiru ya al Muhammad is promising them to be in heaven and look how the Muslim translate false translation he said rejoice oh you group of poor immigrant that's false this is, this is not about a group Salik is not uh, the poor Salik is uh, they are actually rich people who they are criminals they attack caravan and they are the bandit the, the pirate you know the criminal the killers the drug dealers but at that time for sure the business was different so Muhammad he sent them a letter saying join me make me your leader and I will give you the great news of paradise. So Muhammad, he did the same with everybody. This is why in the Quran, Muhammad, he said to the Christians and to the Jews, O oh, who you Christian and Jews and the Sabian, whoever of you believe in Allah in the last days and etc., he have no worry, he will go to heaven. Okay, well, how 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 the Christians and the Jews will go to heaven? And this is in his time. This is not about people before him. Yeah, he, yeah. he promised people who live in his time, who they are Christians and Jews, to go to heaven. Chapter two, verse number sixty-two. Okay, how I will go to heaven? Look what he made. He said clearly that if you are a Christian or you are a Jew or even you are a Sabi and who believe in worshiping stars and the suns and the moon, even that. Is enough for you to go to heaven because Muhammad trying to convince anyone just believe in me Boom, no problem you are Sabian it doesn't matter you are not it's all about getting yeah. power for himself yeah just you know this is why he was not really trying to unite he was trying to take over using using you you believe in Jesus he will go I believe in Jesus you believe Mary was virgin I believe in Mary was virgin what do you believe you believe in worshiping stars I am a Sabian like you what are you a Jew? I am a Jew like you. This is why Muhammad he was praying toward Jerusalem for all his, most, most of his life. Yeah. If you Don't ask the Muslims Sievers, why why, so, why Muhammad was praying toward Jerusalem, they have no answer. Yeah. Von Siever's point is that uh the different Christian sects were constantly fighting and in order for the Arabs to get a united state. No, no, no. They you needed see, to no. you get see, a Muhammad, compromise. Muhammad he met only one kind of sect of of, of, of uh, uh, false Christians around him. Those are the Nasara. He never met other uh, other sect. Okay. This is why you notice Muhammad when he speak about the Trinity, he get it wrong. First, he called them Nasara, which is a which is a name never used for any Christian belief. We are not Nasara. If you ask any Arab, he will say to you, "We are not Nasara. We are we are in Arabic. We call himself Masihi, from the name of the Messiah. You know, Masihi. Yeah. El Masih in Arabic is the Arabic word for the the Messiah. So, uh, 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 we are. I am Masihi." Uh, we are uh, Messiahiyun or Messiahiyin, so we have no name of such a name. We, we we never encounter such a name. So where he got the Nasara? Nasara are a group of people who live in Mecca, and Waraq ibn Nufal was one of the Nasara, and Khadija was Nasara, yeah. which is a Christian cult like Jehovah's Witnesses today. It's a cult coming out of a Christianity, they say. Yeah. Okay. So Muhammad never met any other groups except this. And this is why if you go to the Quran, you see the stupid Muhammad, he's trying to say to those Nasara that don't worship the Trinity, worship supposedly one God. But what he said, he said, don't worship the, the, the uh, uh, God and Mary and Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> but the Christian don't believe that Mary, she Amen. is part of the Trinity. So Muhammad, he cut the wrong, the wrong Trinity. Now here we ask ourselves the Muslim they will say to you oh at that time there was a, a Christian cult who believe in that Okay, so why Muhammad he says all the Christians believe in that why Muhammad did not quote for us the name of the Christians who believe in different Trinity If they are little minority, how come Allah spoke about the minority? He forgot the majority You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. because it's, 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 it's stupid to say that and actually the, the Christians the they say is the other thing which is a bit odd is that he spends I think is it 50 or 60 percent of the Quran talking about non-believers and only 10 percent talking about Allah you know so it seems totally out of sync 
Say again. Uh, what did you say? Sorry. Um, I, I heard it from somewhere. I don't know where I heard it, but that's basically, I think it was 50 or 60% of the Quran is focused on non believers, whereas only 10% is focused on Allah. Well, there's nothing in the Quran about Allah. I mean, who who is Allah? If I search the whole Quran about Allah, I will find nothing. There's not even one yeah. percent about Allah in the Quran. If you see from the beginning, it says it is He who created the world. Okay, who is He? <laughs> you know, it's He. Okay, nice to meet you. Okay, <laughs> so there is no information about this God, and Muhammad himself never spoke to his God, never met his God, and yet he's speaking about a God he do not know. You know, we, we when we ask Muslims, okay. How how Muhammad he came who become to be a Muslim? Why why he why he become a Muslim? Let's say they say to us Abraham was a Muslim. Okay, no problem. So Muhammad came six hundred years after Jesus, and suddenly, from the middle of nowhere, he recognized Abraham, and he recognized his the God of Abraham as they claim, which is supposedly Allah, which is wrong. Yeah. But how this happened? The Quran confirmed that Muhammad was a pagan man. Muhammad, he have no faith, he have no belief. So how Muhammad suddenly became a, 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 a chosen to be a prophet? Because you see, in order to be a prophet, there is there is a preparation. I mean, God he chose the best of mankind, and he just just to choose a man for for no reason. It must be a reason. Okay, what is the reason to make Muhammad a prophet between all the mankind at that time? Muhammad, he have no qualification whatsoever. He says stupid things. He's a criminal. He's a thief. He is a child molester. He is a, he is a cheater. This is all in, in Muslim books of stories. So what is the qualification for Muhammad to be a prophet? Secondly, Muhammad who speak about his God too much. He received his revelation from a man. He claimed, or actually Waraka told him that this is an angel to breathe, not him. And yeah. Muhammad, he have an examination for the inspiration. I don't know if you know about this story. I mentioned it before. Yeah. Yeah, about his wife, she asked him to sit in the top of her legs. You remember? Yeah, one of the things I heard about Waraka well, is that he's Nestorian, and the Nestorians are from um, the Lakhmid area, the capital city being uh, Hira. And Muhammad's mm -hmm. cave is referred to as the cave of Hira. Is there any connection, or do you think is that well, just a later? Well, um, well uh, you know, reduction? we cannot really confirm what, what uh, Waraka uh, was for sure. It can be, you know, uh, but what we know for sure that Waraka is the founder of islam in the arabian peninsula yeah for sure even even the hadith says when waraka he died muhammad he tried to commit suicide many times and confirm that quran or revelation stopped coming to muhammad why very suspicious yeah. Be because waraka died then muhammad he have to go and find a solution and obviously later he found the book which waraka was writing which is the quran this is why you will find that in the Quran there is uh, uh, verses which is very silly and very stupid and there's verses they have a strong language which mean cannot be the same author like you know like now uh, uh, I don't know if you have my books so imagine you take a page from Shakespeare and you put it in my book right away you will notice that this is cannot be Christian Prince who wrote this uh, is this page yeah correct this is exactly yeah. what happened in the Quran the Quran yeah. have some places where have a very good Arabic and some places where have a very horrible stupid I mean to the point it is really funny and stupid yeah and it's it's been changed over the years as well I'm, I'm sure no, no regardless I, I don't want to talk about changing let us let us say it oh. was not a change who care I mean actually for yeah. me I prefer if I don't say change and I hit okay. and I, I hit Islam with what they have you see yeah. I, I don't waste my time about the Quran being changed or not because who care uh, yeah. the corrupt book you cannot corrupt a corrupt book. Yeah, you know you cannot corrupt it twice. It's, cor it's the Muhammad is corrupt, so his book is corrupt anyway. The Muslim believe in this book. He will go. Let us read and love. Like now, if I I say the Muslims, all the Muslims are watching me. Why the Sabian will go to heaven? I challenge you. Why the Sabian will go to heaven? Who is the who, why they are why they are going to be go to going to heaven? Why the Christians will go to heaven? Why the Jews will go to heaven? The Muslim they try to false fiction interpretations. They say, Oh, he is talking about previous Christians. False. Look with me. It says, and those who follow the Jewish scriptures, who follow, not followed. Yeah. Um, CP, just one last question before I go is uh, what book of yours would you recommend I read to get a good grounding? 
Well, they are they are like my books is kind of like they con they uh, complete each other. So you can start with deception of Allah, and then you have to go through the Quran and science because Quran and science actually have a lot more information from okay. the deception of Allah. But I think people they like the name of the first one more. But the fact, Quran and science is a treasure of information. But yet people they okay. they order more the deception of Allah because in Quran and science you will find, you see, because the topic is Quran about Quran and science, right? The Muslim they force me to show the reference that this is not what the Quran is about. And what is not that's not what meant and by doing that I expose a lot of secrets of Islam from their books in that book so okay. both of them I better go yeah all right my friend take care thank you for the call take care sure. do we have any Muslim <clears throat> anyone who is a Muslim Anyone, anyone remember yesterday what we need to do if your wife she is horny and a genie sleep with her who remember from yesterday who remember what you need to do if you have a wife and she is horny and a genie sleeping with her anyone remember we have to say 100 time yeah we do 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 Hello. Hello, CP. Hey, my friend. How are you? Uh, I'm from Indonesia. All right. Uh, you know, Indonesia is the largest country, uh, Muslim country in the world. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, I just want to ask you, uh, how can you reach uh, Indonesian Muslim here? Because uh, uh, they they hard to understanding English first. Hmm. Uh, because it's not their language hmm. uh, and your book your book uh, there's your book uh, in Indonesian language well you know yeah? my there's there's a, a book I'm working in actually it's already done but uh, because I, I have a very short time it's done actually more than two months ago it's in the Malaysian language I think the Indonesian people they can understand that language too right you know Indonesia Indonesian even Indonesian Indonesian Muslim is lazy to read the book, you know. Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying uh, uh, if, if, if the book is in, a, in the language of Malaysia, they, they can the, the, the Indonesian people understand it or no? Yeah, uh, first, I want to tell you this. Uh, mm. Muslim, Indonesian Muslim people, they are admiring Arabian people, you know. Yeah, they worship them because they think uh, they, are, they, they are from them. Muhammad. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, even their... Uh, their words uh, in uh, what can I say they so admiring the words in Arab even it it read, written in sandals you know uh, I hope you can reach those people well the maybe people. maybe I need to learn Indonesian language so I can do my own broadcast in Indonesian that would be fun. yeah yeah but we need, we need a teacher I, yeah. <laughs> I need a teacher, I don't know. Uh, is it is it hard to learn Indonesian language? No, no, no. Really? I'm sure it's not it's not it's not hard to learn about Indonesian language. Bahasa, bahasa. Okay. Well, I will see if I can do that. I don't know. I will see. Yeah, it's uh, they uh, we are appreciate what you what you are doing, CP. Thank, Thank you, you, my friend. Thank you. Take care. Take care. Yeah. Take care. And my greeting for people from Indonesia. I know that you know they they like what I do and they are learning a lot, so they can refute that Abdul. Uh, my uh, my book have to be in Arabic. The reason I did not make my books in Arabic because there's many Arab Christians are getting Islam busted, big deal. So I don't feel myself. I need to do something there. You know, already there's many many. You know. There's TV programs made by Arab Christians, and they are ex-Muslims. They are slaughtering Islam literally every day. And this is why I chose to do my mission in English, because I, I feel bad that there is nobody. You see, I saw a video. One of you, he sent me a video of, uh, what his name? The guy who go in David Wood uh, video sometime. What's his name? I forgot. 
sometime he you know he speak with him anyway in this video the brother here he is a good brother and he is really a good uh, uh, you know uh, he is doing his own homework but still he is limited because he is reading the translation in English and as long you are no no not Sam as long you are reading in English you are limited in your knowledge because Muslims always they lie when they translate you know what I mean no no not in Arabic not in Arabic I think his name uh, Ant Anthony Anton something like that I forgot Anthony Anthony Rogers okay so he's a smart man all right and he is doing a good job like uh, researching but he is limited still because simply when he when he caught for you something he caught it as Muslim translated he, he is dependent on their translation which is all is false I never saw any Islamic translation is accurate or even close to be true as an example I just mentioned to you that the first batch who enter heaven it says in English they will be bright but this is not what the Quran says this is not what the hadith says the Quran says what a what a sweat do you the day when faces will turn black and faces will turn white not they will be bright you read the English translation they say to you bright because they're trying to hide that Islam is a racist cult if you cannot be white you cannot enter heaven so the qualification to go to heaven the first thing Allah will change your color will make you totally very white this is not about being bright so for somebody who don't speak the language he have to read what the Muslim translate if we go right now here we go the same verse we are we are talking about hello hello are you there mr. Muhammad hello Hey Muhammad, are you there? We have two callers at the same time, but none of them is talking. That's funny. Yeah, yeah I, I am with you. Yes, Muhammad. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. Is it true that the qualification for a person to go to heaven is Allah to make him white? What is what? What is the Arabic uh, word of white? Yawma what a wuju. He didn't say uh, what is the white in Arabic. Abiyad uh, and not chabiyad. Hmm. What abiyad? What abiyad mean? Abiyad, it is white. Chabiyad. Oh, abiyad mean white. He, okay. He, okay. So yawma yawma tabiyadu. The day that faces will turn abiyad. white and faces will turn black, right? Did Did he say uh, abiyad or chabiyad? Tabiyadu, tabiyadu is, is 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 what will happen to that. It's going to turn into white, correct? Yes. Okay. So, so the it, day, it, the day the faces will turn white, and the day the faces will turn yes. black. Okay. Why the Muslim when they translate yes. they say, the day the faces will be bright. They don't, they don't give the truth. Why? Yes. Hmm? It is the. It is what? Say again. This is this is the true, this is the true meaning. The true meaning, but you just agreed that this is this is the true meaning. You told me that the beard mean is going to turn white. There's no bright there. It will turn white. Why you say bright in the translation? Because they have the same meaning. Sorry. Are, are, are you saying the black people in in, uh, in this earth will never go to heaven? I don't understand. The day in the day of judgment, Allah will make all the believers white, correct? Okay, okay. So, okay. so why why Allah will make you people? why Allah will make all the Muslim white and will make all the non-Muslim black? What is the purpose of that? Are you seeing that the black people in this earth will never go to heaven? Mm -hmm. Is this is this what you understand? No, I am saying, I'm saying. 
that if you are a black person you cannot enter heaven unless mm -hmm. Allah make you white first because everybody enter heaven he have to be white this was the first thing chapter 3 verse 106 so he, he, he didn't say the, the, the black person on the earth he never go to heaven sorry he never said that the black people in this earth never go to heaven he, he, he told you that no actually people, actually you know actually he actually he said that he said that if we go we can go no hold on hold, hold on my friend hold on hold on hold on okay my I must say hmm. the people who 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 do who do the bad things whatever you are black or white you will go to heaven the people who they are bad the, the bad things will go to heaven bad things we will never go to heaven. It's not oh, about okay. you are black or white. No, but here it says that in the in that day, in the day of judgment, Allah will make all the believers white and all non-believers yes. black. And same time, your God actually Allah, He confirmed that the black people will go to hell. You never heard that before? It's not the black people, my friend, my friend. The black people will will will, will turn to white and go to heaven. So it, it, it's Okay, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me sh let me show you this hadith. Let me show you this hadith, and I want you to read with me. Can you see the screen? No, no, I didn't see. Okay, I will send it to you in your Skype, so you can read for me if you don't mind. Is that okay? No, no, just just show it in the screen. And read. Okay, so you can see the screen. Okay, Allah Messenger yes, 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 yes. said. Allah, Allah created Adam and when he created him he struck his right shoulder and there emitted uh, uh, from it white offspring as if they are if they were, were white ants and then he struck his left shoulder which means Adam and there emitted from from it the black offspring as if it were a circle he then said to those who they are emitted from the right shoulder for paradise and I don't care or I don't mind and then he said and those who they are emitted from the left shoulder they are to hell and I don't mind you still alive Muhammad, are you there? I hear you're breathing. Talk to me. I heard you sniffing now. My friend, are you okay? You need a doctor or you need something? Muhammad okay now his internet going weak Muhammad are you there now I hear you go ahead what happened Muhammad hello okay Muhammad think about it Call your mom, call your dad, discuss this issue. Obviously, your 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 God and your prophet, they hate the black people, which is very, very disgusting. What kind of cult this cult is? Allah created the black people from the shoulder of Adam. All right, Muhammad. Are you there? Are you the same one who called me now? Okay, I hear you now. Go ahead. What do you want to say? I, I, I hear nothing what, you, is your point is what my point your prophet he made the point all the black people will go to hell Allah created them to go to hell and all white people Allah created them to go to heaven this is not my point this is your prophet point this is hadith at Turmudi this is at Turmudi 
Is it authentic? <laughs> For sure, it's authentic. Everything in Islam is authentic. Do you Muslim have lies in your religion? What do you no, mean? My no, my friend. No. There is there is a man who, who fabricated the hadith. Ah, is, Islam is full of fabrication. Islam, okay. Who is the one who no, fabricated? No, okay, hold on, hold on. Islam. No, no. What do you say? There's a lot of fabricated stories. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. To distinguish between the. Okay, is the is the Quran is the Quran fabric fabrication? No. Okay, chapter three, verse oh six. It doesn't speak about Allah making your face black and what? white. Chapter three, verse one oh six. Does it say that Allah will make you black and white in the judgment day? Yes or no? Allah never said. Allah never said the black people will not go to he to to heaven and. Uh, his, you, you need to know something. Okay. The, uh, the black color. It it it, it, it means. I, I I want to show you something. Sometimes when uh, when you have some dirty in in uh, in your clothes, this is what Allah means. Your your bad works mm. will make your 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 uh, fist. Mm. The bad, what, what does that the mean? Uh, okay, my friend. Let us go. Let, let us go direct to the question. Hit hit the head. Don't go around. So, are you confirming to me that nowhere your God Allah uh, speak about making you black or white in the judgment day? Allah will make the black uh, the people who have the blood works. Okay, He will make them what? He will make them black. He will make them black, because, correct? Because the black, he will he will make them black. Because the black people. My friend, my friend, make it clear for me. Make it clear for me. Anyone, anyone who don't believe in Allah, Allah will make him black. Do you agree or no? Yes. I, I don't understand. Uh, say, say again, say again, say again. Okay, so anyone who don't, guys, did you hear this? Anyone who don't believe in Allah, Allah will make him black. Allah will make him black, correct? At, at the day of judgment, I'm not, I'm not, uh, anything else. So you are saying, you are confirming that in the day of judgment, all those who don't believe in Allah, Allah will make them black, correct? Yes. Yes. Did you hear it, guys? Well, Islam is a sick religion, my friend. Because it look like in Islam to be black to be black is a is a penalty. No, it's a, it's a it's a it's a racist, disgusting religion. Because you just confirm, just confirm that being black is a penalty. It's a punishment from Allah, and the reward is to be white. My friend, if I am a black in this earth, I will go to heaven. This is not the question, my friend. You are you agreed that Allah in the judgment day Allah Allah in the judgment day no 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 hold on hold on first of all no you will not go to heaven if you are black and I prove it to you I show you your prophet saying the hadith secondly Muhammad he used the black people just to make them go and fight and die for him but he, in the fact he never freed them let me ask you Muhammad he have a free he, he have a black slave Muhammad he have a black slave Muhammad he have many African slaves did, did he release them did Muhammad release his African slaves yes Bilal do you know Bilal? Muhammad died and Bilal was a step. Yes, I know Muhammad. Muhammad. Muhammad died, yeah. so and Bilal still black, was a, a slave. Will, uh, this is the proof. Bilal is a black, a black man. He will go to heaven. But obviously, Muhammad he was abusing the black people. Otherwise, why Bilal? Yeah, why Bilal is his slave? Why Bilal is his slave? Explain to me. Why Bilal? Why Bilal? What do you mean choose? What do you mean choose? What do you mean choose? Abu Bakr he bought him. What do you mean choose? Abu Bakr he bought Bilal. He's, he's, he's not a free man to be or not to be. He did not come to Muhammad say, I want to be your slave. Don't lie. Muhammad died and still Bilal was a slave. Black people go to heaven and the proof is Bilal. Bilal is a black people and he will go to heaven. So your argument is false, my friend. My friend, my, my argument is confirmed by you. You are the one who said anyone who don't believe in Allah, Allah will no, make him friend. a black. You are the one who said that. No, my friend. Yes. No, no. You, you said no. it's recorded. It's recorded. It's recorded. You said that. You said anyone don't believe in Allah, Allah will make him black. He's a black people and he will go to heaven. Okay, let, let, let's repeat again. Did you admit and you said that in the judgment day Allah will make all those hold on listen 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 so you can answer did you agree that all those who don't believe in Allah in the judgment day Allah will make them black yes or no 
the people who don't believe in Allah. Yes. If he is watched or blocked, he will go to hell. No, this is not the question. 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 Abdul, stop talking. This is stop talking. Stop talking. You agreed already. Abdul, what's wrong with you? You agreed already. Abdul. Uh, let me repeat no, the question. No, let me repeat the question. Everybody heard you. It's recorded already. You agreed. Okay. When when judgment day come, Allah will make all the Muslims white and all non-Muslim black. Do you agree? The black people and the white people. This is not a question. This is not the 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 question. Abdul Potato, stop running away from the question. Potato, certified donkey. This is not the question. Listen to me again. In the judgment day, listen, shut up. In the judgment day, is Allah going to make all those who believe in Allah white and all those who don't believe in Allah? Listen. And those who don't believe in Allah black, yes or no? He didn't say black. Two minutes ago, you agree. Let me get you busted. What? Two minutes, two minutes ago, you agree. You said yes. Allah will make all those but who don't I, believe in Allah black. I, now, my friend, I explained to you, but you, you don't want to understand it. Okay, explain to me. Uh, let us let us go again. If I, I, me, 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 Christian prince, listen, listen, just focus on me, focus on me, focus on me, focus on me, me, Christian prince, I am a Christian prince, I am a white man. In the judgment day, is it true that Allah will make me black, yes or no? The, the people who are white or who are... This is not the question, donkey, this is not the question, donkey, stop, stop playing donkey. Stop playing donkey. This is not the question. I'm asking you, me, me. I am a Christian prince. I am a white man. When judgment day come, when hold on, when judgment day come, am I going to stay? Shut up. Shut up. Okay, here we go. Let me get you busted. You see how embarrassing this religion is? Now he swallowed his words again. This is the chapter 27, verse number 82. Speaking about a beast will come from the ground and this beast is going to have the stick of Moses and the ring of Solomon because this is a magical day Hoributar So if we go and read the interpretation of 2782 you will find the following let us do that And get this Abdul busted 27 82 Ibn Kathir. As you see, there's a beast will emerge from the from the ground, and this beast is going to be a Muslim who read Quran, recite Quran, and will teach you Quran, and he will chase you, and this beast will come to you, and he will hit you with the stick of Moses and the ring of cinnamon. Let us see what will happen. Let us go down. Look at the first translation here. That's why I say when you read, when, when somebody tried to learn about Islam, read in English, he will be deceived. A beast will emerge from the earth and it will be, uh, uh, it will be the staff of Moses and the ring of Suleiman. And it will strike the nose of the be disbeliever with the staff and it will make his face of the believer bright with the ring. And when people, they gather together to eat, they will be able to recognize each other by saying, oh, believer or disbeliever. Here they lie in translation. They say, the believer bright. Let us get them busted. In the same page, the same Abdul who translating, he got himself busted. Look with me. It will strike the nose of the disbeliever with the ring, and it will make his face of the believers bright with the staff until the people gather together in a meal. They will say, oh, one another, oh, believer or disbeliever, which means people, they will recognize each other to be believer or not by the color. It was also recorded by Ibn Majah. Uh, Ibn Juraj reported it from Az Zubair, described the beast, etc. This description is very funny, but let us go. Let us go back. Look here. Then it will be no believer. Okay, here we go. It will bring the staff out with the staff of Moses and the ring of Suleiman. There will be no believer left without making a white spot on his face, which will spread until his face is shining. Shining what? Shining white. 
fast translation and there will be no disbeliever left without making a black spot in his face which will spread until his face will became black as a result do you see how we got you busted abdul you try to run away from the question you try to ignore what the question is about hoping that we do not know or we will not find out this is why I say when you debate a Muslim, you are not debating a Muslim, you are debating the devil who played the game to hide the truth. Yes, Muhammad. Christian, if you are a black and you believe in Allah, did you go to heaven or not? I don't believe I don't believe in Allah. Answer. Did you see what I show you on the screen? Yes or no? Did you did you see in the screen? Did you see in the screen? Did you see the screen? Did you see did you see what the Quran said? Yes or no? Don't change the topic. I'm not changing the topic. You are a liar. Why you did not agree that Allah will make all people black in the judgment day? Why you try to hide it? You admit in the beginning and now you, you swallow your tongue again. Does it say in the verse in the front of us? Does it say that Allah will make all the unbelievers black? Yes or no? Doesn't matter. I'm asking you why Allah will make us all of us black if we don't believe in him. Coward, get lost. I don't even understand what you are saying guys isn't it clear that Islam consider black color as a penalty isn't it clear it's a punishment the believers will be rewarded they will be so white and non-believers will be punished and they will be so black and yet the coward he don't want to answer why his God is a filthy racist This is not my interpretation even though they try to fabricate the translation try to make it look nicer so they use the word bright the fact doesn't say bright it's speaking about you being white the quran says it clearly and now we have a beast which is a fiction story which is very weird and obviously muhammad is copying a story from the old testament if you go if someone of you is very, very well versed, you will know, you will notice that Muhammad was copying something from somewhere. Its head is like the head of a bull. Its eyes like the eyes of a pig. Its ears like the ears of an elephant. Its horn like the horn of a stag. Its neck like the neck of an ostrich. Its chest like the chest of a lion. Its color is like the color of tiger. Its hanches is like the hanches of a cat. Its tail is the tail of a ram. Its legs are the legs of a camel. Muhammad, he take what is written before from from people before him in a, in a, in a, in different meaning, different way, and he tried to make it to adopt it something belong to his religion, and he add to it funny, stupid stories. Here we go. This beast is coming to us, and he have a staff of Musa's and the ring of Solomon. And you notice here that the ring of Solomon will make you white because it's the magical. The staff of Musa's will make you black. Because it's the magical. So now we have two stamp. One is stamp for white, one is stamp for black. Finally, my dream will come true. I will turn to be a black man. And I will find a girlfriend. <laughs> Many girlfriends, Muslims, in the heaven of Allah. Virgins. Each time I sleep with them, Allah will make them virgin again. Man, I cannot wait. I mean, imagine even the, the idea of making the women virgin again is nothing but a cheating and lying to yourself. You just sleep with the women. What do you mean she's virgin again? I mean, you are lying to who? Lying to yourself, Allah lying to himself, lying to you. Who's lying to who here? Who is the stupid in the story? I just slept with the women and now you are making her virgin again. Why? At least replace her. Get me a new one. Send the first one to the recycle because now she is used, if this is the point. Why you are making the girl virgin again? What virginity mean here? I mean, what virginity mean? You see, the stupidity in Islam is beyond imagination. When you when you have a virgin woman, that means she is a, 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 a woman of dignity. Okay, that's wonderful. She kept herself. She preserved herself to her husband. That's wonderful. But when you say to me that she will be virgin each time you sleep with her, that means you are a stupid, certified donkey. 
because there's no point she slept with me only with me and now she will sleep with me again so what the point of making her version again but because those Arab they like to be the, the macho man I am the first so now he convinced himself I am the first but you are the first anyway you donkey no no she's version again so what but still she's the same woman you slept with her five minutes ago Muhammad is speaking to the desire of those Arab Bedouin savage by the way the word Arab and I am an Arab as you know I'm so proud by the way we are called Arab because we take a shower once a year in the old days this is a name given to us by the Aramaic people the Aramaic when they say like you know in some countries they say I don't want to I don't want to sound like insulting people as you see I'm talking about my people but yet I'm using the, the exact what it is in some in Europe they say gypsy right okay why they call them gypsy because they have different lifestyle you know they used to go and tent etc so they are not civil the same as the rest all right so Arab is the same they've been called Arab for they live in the desert they are the Bedouin they are people who don't have houses don't take shower their hair is full of lies and this is why Muhammad is so full of lies so Muhammad is speaking to certain kind of people who they are extremely savage this is why when you go in war with the savage people you lose especially in the old days because it's equal weapon sword by sword there's no intelligence here and the one who sleep in a tent is more strong than someone who sleep in a house take a shower relax in a bed you know your life is tough your body is different you spend your day riding a horse not walking around so Muhammad he have a mighty army of Bedouin who they are savage and they used to attack each other for living this is why we showed you in the hadith Muhammad he says Abshiru ya, ya sa alik al -arab. do you see it Abshiru ya ma sa alik al muhajirin sa alik you can ask anyone you can copy the word here we go I will copy it for you and you can let me see if I can find you in 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 uh, in the internet what sa alik mean hold on give me a second just for you for your reference so you can learn give me a second I'm trying to find what is what is the equal word in English. Okay. I found an article in Arabic in Wikipedia, but we need something in English. Hmm. Look like in English the equal word for it is a trumpet. Trumpet. I'm trying to find out. Oh God. Yeah, look like I'm having a hard time to find any article in English. But I will give you a link so you guys you might try to find what is equivalent to it. All right. Simply Salik is the outlaw. The criminals of the Arab. All right. Do we have any Muslim? So now what we learned that in Islam, because Islam is a wonderful religion, Allah will make all the Muslims white 
and all of us who don't believe in Muhammad scam black okay I prefer I prefer to be in any color in the world not to be a Muslim I don't care about the color black white yellow blue I don't care but I don't want to be a Muslim to be a to be a Muslim is an insult hello hello yes but I don't want to be online. Um, are you online? Yes, we are online. Okay. Um, I wanted to know, you know, you're still talking about uh, the Muslims being white or black? Yeah. Um, yeah. So in the, is it true that Muhammad was really black, but he made a hadith saying, uh, whoever calls Muhammad a black man, he should be killed? And yes. Muhammad well, the, was the, a white hadith, man? the hadith is true, but Muhammad never was black. There's tons of no. hadith about Muhammad. Being white, what how what, how Muhammad would became black? Was he was he an African? No, no, no. I mean, like red skinned, like because it's hot no, countries. So. No, my friend, no. If if you live in a hot country, does not make you black. Does not make you black because uh, uh, you know you go like even if you go now in North Africa, even North Africa, which is Arab, uh, you know, controlled by what they call Arab, they are not black. We are the Arab in the Quran. It's mentioned Arab. The Arab is the Bedouin. They are not those. Are, those are not the Bedouin. Are the Arab? The Bedouin are the Arab. So it was Muhammad. No, the Bedouin. The Bedouin is the Arab. But Muhammad is Arab. Arab. There's Arab and there's Arab. Arab is the one who live in houses. They used to be Bedouin, and now they have houses. They have a town. Muhammad they live in Quraysh. Arabs yeah. are civilized, and Arab are Bedouin. They are not really civilized, Arab. but they are, let, let us say, less savage than, uh, you know, than. Uh, the other Arab. Okay, because I'm trying to understand why would God create racial division? But isn't it true in the Bible it says God cursed Ham's son? No, that's, that's not true. That's not true. It's the father who cursed true. them, but he did not curse them to be black. He said they will be servants. So he is speaking no. about the prophecy of what they will happen to them. And wasn't it true that the black people were servants? Well, the black people they were masters too. Who mm. said who said the black people they are cursed and became servant? That's not true because simply it's not, not true. No, okay. it's, it's about talking about a, 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 this man and his children. But if you go, you will find a, as an example in the Bible, the Jews themselves they were servants and slaves of the African yeah. Egyptian, correct? True. Okay. Yeah. So Moses. so you know, slavery was an exchange. There's white slave. There's black slaves. There's, uh, African themselves they enslave each other. So what color was Jesus? We don't no, care. No. This is the last question I will ask myself. Who cares? Jesus is, is my Lord, regardless if he is black or white, or he is from India, or he is from Pakistan. Who you cares? have no physical description? No, we know we, earlier, know we know that he is he, he is born from the Jews, so he will look the same as the Jews, as simple as that. But the Jews the, the Jews are not not Palestinian. There's nothing called Palestinian. Palestinians are not exist. Palestinians, it's a territory. Wherever who live there, they call them Palestinian. They are not an ethnic. All right. Is Nazareth a real place? Because it said Nazareth not a real place at the time of the Bible. So what? Say what? It says Nazareth wasn't a real place. It's not a true place. It was just made up. There's no place called Nazareth. No, that's not. No, no, no. That's you know. This is this is not true. This like let me tell you something. If I say to you, a hundred years ago, you are a gay. Are you going to be insulted? Homo, but it's not homo. The word gay means happy. Okay, okay. Okay. Yes. So people they because they have a, they have a wrong understanding of history, so they try to assume that okay, okay, we have a city. It's called Adan, which means Eden. Okay, but Eden is built uh, two thousand a uh, thousand year ago. So how the Bible speak about the Garden of Eden? That city is named after. After 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 the story, not before the story, which means we build a city and we call it Eden. Like in America, there's a, a city is called Baghdad. Mm, but mm, is it Baghdad? Oh, China. Yeah. Okay. So when 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 somebody will try to make an assumption, he have to go back to history and check it out, and you will find that you are wrong. So are you telling me your God is not physical? Like no, my God is physical, my friend. What does this have to do with this? No, 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 because earlier you asked me who is God. Remember, I had to go to my uh, brother. My God, my God, he came to us in a physical form, but he is not physical. God He's became not. a man. God became a man. Not man became a God. We don't believe in such a thing. We believe that God came to us as a man, but he is not a man. So the God of Islam is a God who is 
a physical shape. Did, this is his did origin. Did the father become the son? Did the father become the son? My friend, my friend, God the Father, he present yeah. himself in three person as a man, uh -huh. as a spirit, and the same time when he is in heaven, we call him the father. It's one God, yeah. not the three God. So if God cannot present himself to us in a person he wish or he like, then he cannot be God, for he is almighty. We call him almighty for what reason? What what is the what what, what is the word almighty mean? Almighty he can do anything. Okay. All power. Can, can Allah be a man? If he, if it suits his majesty, he could do whatever he wills. But the Muslim don't if agree. The Muslim they say no. And the Quran and the Quran confirmed that because the, the but isn't it isn't it in the Bible that God walked amongst uh, Adam and Eve and he was talking to them in the God? How can he walk if he wasn't a man? My friend, it's possible maybe he come to them as a man too, the same as he came to Abraham. Yeah, God, he came to Abraham as a man. So what the problem? Isn't it the Bible says no too? Let me let me let me help you. Let me let me help you. Isn't it God said in the Old Testament that God created Adam in his image? And in his, in his image, image he created yeah. him okay so for us we have no problem that god can come to us as a man but yeah. he is not a man why is the muslim's problem why is the muslim's problem the problem is the muslim they deny that god can be a man but yet everything in the quran and in the hadith lead us that allah is a physical being exactly so they're going against their teachings because they, are, they don't they are, understand they are yeah. not they are, no they, they are being hypocrite not going against their teaching yeah. they are being hypocrite okay they're they, being hypocrite they're not being honest to themselves because i i could be honest to myself and say god is physical allah is physical yeah, no, so the Muslims, the no, the Muslims, they say Allah is physical. They cannot deny that. The scholars, they cannot deny that. The one who deny is usually is the potatoes. Yeah, listen, listen. This is oh. has nothing to do with my topic. Nothing like me. This is this is even talking from the this this statement. Nothing like him is talking from the Bible. The Bible says nothing is like God. But this is another question. Oh. When you see someone, he claimed to be a person who want to debate Christians like a, like Muhammad Hijab. David Wood, he asked Muhammad Hijab, do. Uh, uh, Allah has parts Muhammad hijab he said you said the scholar they say Allah has part what scholar making fun of him right here you will see that you will because notice right away you will notice right away that the Muslim is being a deceiver and being a liar because now I don't, I don't know why they do this he, why he do that because yeah, the, because right. because they are not debating the point is about how I make a point against you It's not about how I, I want to learn. I, I am honest if something you prove to me wrong I can accept it. I can move on but if it doesn't make sense I could also move my on. friend like, my friend to... no problem, yeah. but that's another point the point is mm. Average Muslims let us say ignorant Muslims stupid Muslims They prefer to wear to listen to someone like Muhammad hijab making mockery of the one who debating with him seriously Making yeah. fun of his religion and says, "Who is the one who said to you Allah has part?" Which means he's making fun of his prophet. And instead I'm of hearing, understanding. yes, because when you make fun of somebody, believe that Allah has part. It means you are making fun of Muhammad. But Muhammad believed that Allah sat on the throne, so he has to. This is know? don't go there first. Do Allah have hands? Yes. Do Allah have feet? Yes. Yeah. Do Allah have face? Yes. Do Allah have a shin? Yes. Do Allah have, a, have fingers? Yes. So yeah. when, when somebody asks a Muslim, he claimed to be a person who wanna debate me, and he is going to refute me, and then he made fun of those who claim that Allah has parts. It means he is making fun of his prophet. Yeah. So he's ignorant. So no, no, well, he's he not ignorant. No, 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 he's not ignorant. He, he, he's a he's a certified donkey, and he got certification from the Muslim. They like him. He you thought. He thought. Let me let me, let, let me explain. Islam. Hold on. When 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 Muhammad Hijab made fun of David Wood for David Wood say to him that Allah has parts, he yeah. did not make fun of Muhammad of David Wood. He made fun of his God and his prophet. Exactly, and the prophet, yeah. And the Muslim they clap for him, hey, like like wow, <laughs> with the comedian, hey, you know. But the donkeys uh, go go on search in two seconds in YouTube, you will find tons of scholars, including the one you call him scholar Zakir Naik, the idiot. They're teaching you, yes, Allah have a face, yes, Allah have hands, yes, Allah have feet, yes. But he don't, we don't know how they look like. They think it's not metaphorical. It's physical. Yeah, it's physical. It's nothing metaphorical So not the stupid Muslims and sadly you are a Muslim I don't know what if I can say you are stupid or not, but I think you are not so the stupid it's Muslims they, line, they, The Muslims they, they they praised the idiot just because he defend Islam doesn't matter how if he is insulting Muhammad and Insulting Allah because they are ignorant. They do not know. They don't know that this guy he is just making poo, -poo. How you make fun of anyone believe that Allah has parts if Muhammad he taught you that, if Allah Himself he taught that, if you go Isn't to this video here, in the day of judgment, the hadith that Allah will appear as a little boy with curly hair, you know this. There is tons of stories, you know, but uh, I, 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 I go. If if you have the hey show, it also we put it in screen, you know, because the Muslim they will say it's weak anyway. 
It's everything is weak. This is what I found out because I'm trying to talk to the scholars and everything, and they say, "Oh, the hadith is weak, this and that." But like you said, it's it's only because of the research nowadays they're making stuff rank da'if and sahih and all this. But before it wasn't changed for thousands of centuries. So why now? Because Muslims are getting smart and asking the questions. Well, you see, uh, when when the questions are embarrassing, the Muslim they try to make a mockery in, in to avoid answering the question. So is your heaven physical in the Bible? Is heaven physical? The heaven where Adam created in the Bible, it was physical, yes. And it was on earth, but in Islam, but in Islam, but in Islam, it was in the sky, not on earth. That's why the Quran says, actually, once I debated the Sheikh, and the Sheikh start making mockery of me. For I am saying that Quran teach that the, 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 the heaven of Adam and Eve was in, in the sky. And after we finish the debate, the Muslim he asked his followers to go and flag my videos and take it down because he got busted. Because he's a donkey. He just, you know, he got he 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 just start getting uh, messages from Muslims. How you yeah. claim to be a sheikh and you are a sheikh? He's a sheikh, and yet you do not, huh? No, not not Ruhi. Ruhi. No, not Ruhi, different one. How you how you claim to be a sheikh, but yet you say that Allah, uh, the heaven of Adam and Eve was was in was in earth. That is what Christians believe. So, yeah. so the heaven of Islam Does is physical. The Quran, heaven is in the skies. Yeah, the, the heaven in the in the past and the heaven in the future is going to be in the sky. Both. Yeah, this is why Christianity, the heaven is in this earth. The heaven of Adam and Eve, it was in this earth, and uh, of the kingdom of God, it's going to be new, new creation. Not in this earth. No, so it's going to be. Like it's going to be sky. new creation, and even us, we will be new creation, which means we will be different by nature. This is why Jesus said, "He and she, they will not get married." They ask him about when a woman she die, her husband, you know, uh, die. Who is going to have her when you go to heaven? This is the idea of the Jews. There is no sex in your paradise. Yes, there's no sex. So he and she, they will not. Get married, they will be the same as angels, which means we will be with different nature. We will uh, become like angels with no uh, sexual desires. Not only that, we will have no needs because we don't need to eat, we do not need to drink, we do not need anything because we will have different nature. So, Christianity, like Christianity speak about different different level of a creation. It's a spiritual level, spiritual happiness, uh, uh, not about being addicted to food and sex as Muhammad he make you. Actually, Muhammad he make you a slave of sexuality. In heaven, yeah. because you go there, what you do all day long, you know, sitting in your couches. The Quran confirmed that you are sitting in the couches and having sex with your wives. And when you want to eat, you don't even need to move. To move, the the tree will go down to you and will put the grape in your mouth. To be honest, it doesn't sound that bad. It sounds really good. I know. Yeah, the go to Las <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, my friend, some, some people are trying to call, so I will I will I will okay. try to take the call from okay, the other no people. people. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Bye. All right. The the Muslim who was trying to call. Okay, here we go. We have a Muslim here. Okay. <laughs> Look at this guy. He sent me a message. First, he said to me, "You are you guys are paid by the Jews." Okay. And then he sent me a message. He said, I am sorry for saying that you teach hate. So he changed his mind now. I am leaving Islam, but I am afraid the other will kill me. So in the beginning, he accused me that I'm paid by the Jews. All right. Then he come to the conclusion that he is leaving Islam. That's wonderful. Actually, I can show I can show his text because there's no name there anyway. You have a nickname. Let us show you. Do you see it? <laughs> you guys are paid by the Jews. This is was 1 12 p.m. In less than 30 minutes after the guy he decided to leave Islam. Glory to the Lord. <laughs> yeah, the truth will set you free, my friend. The truth will set you free. 
That's why I say to you, Muslims, they hate me very much, but later they will love me very much. If you are a Muslim, put yourself in their shoes, and suddenly you hear somebody saying Muhammad is a scam, Muhammad is a liar, Muhammad, you will you, you will hate him. Is your Muhammad is the most important person for you in your life, supposedly? So for sure he will hate me. But the more he listened, the more he learned the truth. He check it out. He find this guy saying the truth, and they leave. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? <clears throat> Any Muslim? Hello? How are you, CP? Um, good, good morning. Good, oh, morning. good afternoon. Good afternoon, my friend. No problem. Yeah, um, I, I just wanted to discuss a little thing. I will, take, I will not take your time, just short one, so you can have time to pick up the call for the Muslim. Mm -hmm. I look at the name of the uh, Muhammad. Muhammad have a 99 name. Right. And when I look at that name, I realize the reason why Muslim can kill for him. Because you see, he's the perfect one, he's the guide, he's, he's all the, the name is the name of God. It's God, it's God, it's God. It's simply, simply Muhammad. Muhammad himself, what Muhammad means, the praise one. Right? Yes, Muhammad yes. means the praise, praise one. That's it, it's over. That, that, we do not need to discuss if Muhammad is God or not. By calling yourself the praised one, it's mean you are claiming to be God. We, we, we have a we have a Muslim. Uh, forgive me, I have a Muslim. Hold on. Hello. Hi. Hey, my friend. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? I'm all right. Why are you are calling me, my friend? Do you have anything to say as a Muslim? No, I'm not a Muslim. I'm a Christian. Oh, I hang up on the other guy. I thought because from your name in the in the screen it appeared that you are a Muslim. No, I'm a TJQ. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, uh, can I ask you a question or not? Well, uh, let me go back to the the gentleman who was before you here, and then we can call yeah. you back. I hang up on him because I thought you are a Muslim. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm very right. sorry. Okay. No yeah, I apologize from the other gentleman. Call me back, please. I hang up on you because I thought the other guy is a Muslim. It was false alarm, false alarm. As you know, customers come first. Go ahead, my friend. Okay. Yes, sorry, I hang up on you because I thought the other oh, person is a Muslim. Okay, no. All right. So when I look at the name, I realize that uh, this God, this not man, this name is not for man, this name. Is for God. Yeah. We can go That's right now, actually. Nice, we can go right now, and we can, you can search, any one of you can search in Google. You will find that the Muslim believe that Muhammad had 99 names equivalent to the names of Allah. Hmm. You know, why? Why Allah have 99 names? And Muhammad have 99 names. Any Muslim have an answer? Anyone? Do we have any Muslim in the bushes? 99 names. Why? Here we go. I just uh, went in Google, Prophet Google, peace upon him, and I was able to get the names of Muhammad. Those are the names, guys. Look with me. This is a Muslim website. There are 99 names of Muhammad. Hashir. Muhammad is the Hashir. Anyone knows what Hashir? Hashir is the one who gather people in the judgment day. The one who, uh, he, he, he judged them. Al-Hashir, who Allah, supposedly. The one who will gather you in judgment day, bring you from the grave. Muhammad is Rashid, the man who guide, supposedly. But isn't it, is it Allah is guide, who guide? You know? Muhammad is Mashhud, Bashir. I mean, look at the names. All the names, Hadin, who he guide right. Muhadin, he is the one who, 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 who guide you. Mahin, he is the one who erase. Uh, Munjin, he is the one who, who deliver you or save you. Uh, Nahin, he is the one uh, uh, like, uh, you know, uh, forbid you. Uh, That's God. Yeah, all, all, the, all, all those names simply present to us that Muhammad must be God. 
He is Rahim. Look, even they are calling the same name for Allah to him. Rahim. You see Rahim? <laughs> Guys, you see you see the word Rahim? Merciful. <laughs> Muhammad is Rahim. Okay. They, they are really worshiping the, the Muhammad, not 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 God. Muhammad is God. And why not, why he need all those names and why they are equal to the names of Allah? You know. They thankful. They strong. The, the funny they call him Karimullah, but did Muhammad spoke to Allah? How you call him Karimullah? I thought Karimullah is is Musa's <laughs> in Islam. <laughs> Habib Allah, Allah the beloved by Allah. The, sorry, Muhammad is the one, the only one beloved by Allah. I mean the trustworthy yeah I remember when Muhammad he went to his own son wife and he flirted with her this is how, how I mean he is uh, <laughs> I mean it's a it's a joke it's a joke but nothing also, new, my friend this is what happened when people were you know start worshiping a false man and I, 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 I also realized the goodness in the scene that uh, the Muslim should claim and to come to conclusion that uh, Truth always prevail. That means you are saying the truth. There's no way that a lie can overcome the truth. Because I can see the boldness in you that there's a truth in you, what you are saying. And there's no way that a lie can refute it because it's the truth. Yeah, but you see, my friend, when a Muslim he lie, for me, I appreciate his lies because that will make, make it easier for me. To prove that Islam is demonic cult it's evil because if Muslims are following a true God and they are defending a true God why they defend the truth by lies mm. you know what I mean so yes. a person like Muhammad hijab lying about his religion people sooner or later they will find that he was lying so maybe in the moment he was able to make the mockery of the Christian opponent but Later, people will find out that he was making mockery of his God and his prophet. As mm -hmm. simple as that, you know. Look at here, one, one of the names of Muhammad, he is the first. Yes. What the first? Yes. How, how Muhammad is the first? If, if he is the first, who is, who is God then? <laughs> you know? he, he is the last. He, look, look, he is the last. Here we go. Other name. He is the last. So he is the first. He is the last. Isn't it this is like Muhammad trying to be Jesus? He is the, the honored one. Huh? The honored one. The honored one. The honored that I will let it go. But the first and the last. Al <laughs> Qawi. Uh, Al Qawi is one of uh, Allah attribute. He is the strong. How how he is a strong? What does that mean? Muhammad is strong. Muhammad he, he have a fight with his wives. He asks Allah for Allah help and Jibril and all the believers and all the angels. Muhammad Hakim. I thought only Allah is Hakim, because Hakim means the wise. So Muhammad is equal to God by wisdom. This is why in the Quran it says that uh, if Allah and Muhammad they make a decision, you know, together, Allah Muhammad is a siraj. Muhammad is light. Is a lamp. Look, so, this, Muhammad, this, this Muhammad is God. Muhammad is Lord. Muhammad is Lord. Muhammad is Lord. Read it. You know, Muhammad Munir. Muhammad is shining star. Here we go, Munir. Let us uh, scroll up. Muhammad is Munir. What does that mean? He is a shiny star. He do radiation. You know. Uh, it's only God that can do this, not man. It's only God. This man is born of, of a woman. But they, you know, it's only God that can do this. Those names, those, those names are made to worship him, you know. And this is why, in, in the Middle East, if you say the F word to Allah, nobody will kill you. But if you say the F word to Muhammad, you're in trouble, you know. And you can realize it like many times when you see something about Allah, you cannot get offended except when you see something to Muhammad. Yeah, you can send it into you, God if you, you if you say but, to Allah, if you leave Islam, they give you three days. To repent which means it's still possible they will forgive you three days to come back but if you say a bad word to Muhammad you must be killed for Muhammad is more important than Allah so mom is, is the God is the God of Muslim he is the true God of Islam he, Allah is just a name Muhammad he used it for his propaganda 
or his agenda but the truth is Muhammad always preached that he is the only God Muslim should worship as simple mm. as that mm. yeah Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Thank You're you very welcome, much. my friend. Take care. Thank you. Thank you for your good work. Thank God bless you. Thank you. Take care. Professor. The 99 names of a prophet Muhammad. 99 names. By the way, guys, I have 99 names. Christian Prince, Christian Prince Jr., Christian Prince Older. Christian <laughs> and look how they decorate them look 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 here look at the decoration my friend look at this look look at this the 99 names of the prophet what is the names I don't see oh they cut them pieces look 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 if, if Shafi is the one who heal you man the first the last the inner the outside the 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 Amir, the one who make orders. Uh, even he is Yasin, but I thought Yasin is one of the names of Allah. <laughs> oh boy, look at the names. He is Nur, his light, the light. He is the light. Muhammad, one of his name is the light. Look, look, look. Do you see it, guys? Is it clear for you? Muhammad is the light. I mean, obviously, who can say no? And yet they lie to us and they say Muhammad is just a man. This cult is made in the size of Muhammad. Muhammad is a light. Actually, when his mother, according to Muhammad's story, when his mother gave birth to him, a very brilliant light came from her vagina. And this, by the way, this is why we Arab. When we get married and our wife she take her panty off we wear welding glasses yeah because you never know you might have a son like muhammad i mean how you know hello hello Okay, well, you know, you don't want to talk. Actually, uh, I'm not going to take more calls for today. I think that's enough. I have enough headache for one day. <laughs> yeah, brother, you better wear a welding glasses when you have sex with your wife if she is an Arab. Like, you know, we Arab, we are very different, brother. Here we go. The mother of the Prophet Muhammad, she gave birth to Muhammad and light came out from her vagina and the light reached all the way to Damascus. I mean, how many nuclear bomb that is equal for to reach all the way to Damascus? Because there is no way, even if you have a nuclear bomb, that the light will reach even 70 kilometers away. Let us say 100 kilometers away. The light went all the way to Damascus. There's 1,200 kilometers. And this is why, let me open the camera for you and show you the welding, the welding glasses because I'm preparing myself to get married from an Arabian woman in the future, maybe 50 years from now. In case I found her, I have to be ready. What if she take off her panty and then you look there and like, woof, the light come. What she is, she is descended from the mother of Muhammad. You never know. We have to be ready, brother. I don't want to go blind. I might even burn. I, I actually I'm thinking to buy a firefighter uh, uh, uniform because the light is is about energy too. You might be burned. I don't know what will happen. Takbir. Trinity is nonsense. Now, now, do you want to call me? I hang up on Skype because no Muslims are calling. Mister Trinity, nonsense. Do you want to call me? Who is a Muslim wanna call me? Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Because the Muslim they say to us, Trinity is nonsense. And as you see, Muhammad have 99 names, Allah have 99 names. The Muslim they present their God by three names. This is the Trinity. Everything in your religion is based on the Trinity. Huh? How you say to us, Trinity does not make sense and all your religion is based on the Trinity.
unblock me one second now this okay what's your name what's your name what's your name in skype i will i will i will log in skype again hold on let us give an opportunity to this abdul and please no christian call me only muslims <clears throat> What's your name <coughs> in Skype? <coughs> yes, Muhammad. Yes, how are you? I'm fine. Muhammad, why why you Muslim you call why, why you Muslim you call Muhammad that he's light? Because Allah says so. But is Muhammad really light? It's a metaphoric uh, because he, he spread Islam and Islam is like this is why he, Allah called him uh, the, the, the light. Muhammad, he spread Islam? Yes, because Allah. Are you all, sure? All, all, uh, Quran, Quran himself, uh, we, we call Quran no, the light. Hmm. But as I know, the, the Quran, Quran himself, the, the Quran, it's a the Quran, it's not okay, a, a hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. As I know, the Quran confirmed that Muhammad, he cannot guide anyone. What what is this? Uh, I, I, I say he he, he gave him. I say he you are the one who the said truth you, you are Islam. the one who said you are yes. the one who said he is light because he spread Islam. He, yes, he spread Islam. I, I didn't he guide people. So he do he guide people or he don't guide? He didn't guide, but he spread. Okay, but the one, the one who spread the Islam, Islam, the one Believe the one who spread Islam, Islam, he guide people. Because what spread in Islam mean? You guide no, people to Islam, no. right? If, if I come to you, do you know what spread? I come to you and say to you, Islam is this, is this. My if friend, you accept it, it's no, you. If no, you don't no. accept it, it's Because you are you. saying I spread Islam, no. but you, you are saying I spread Islam by by saying this is Islam is this and this, this is spread in Islam. That's not true. Muhammad, he took a sword, he attacked his enemies who don't believe. Show me the word sword in the Quran. All the Bible is, is the word sword. Show okay. me one, one, one Okay. Well, okay. Look like Quran. look like Muhammad. You. Okay. So you are saying to me Muhammad was not using the sword it's to kill. Me. Okay. Hold on. You are saying to me Muhammad was not using the sword. He was using his bra. What Muhammad was using to kill people? Show me, show what? Me the what? Sword what? In the okay. okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Let, let, let us see. Let us see if the let us see if the sword is there. Hold on. Okay. 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 I give up. I give up. You are a winner. Chapter eight, verse number twelve. Can you read for me? Show it to me. Did you see the sword? Yes, it says sword there. Don't you see the sword? How you cut the neck of a human being? I didn't say. Show me. Show me the screen. I the screen is in front of you. Oh, the screen is not there. Hold on. Here we go. Chapter eight, verse twelve. How you cut the neck of a human being in the Quran? According to Quran, I will give you three options. You use your fork. You use your your. Show your, me the word. Get I get lost. I have no time for people who want to play games. Show me the word sword. It says cut their necks, you idiot, and cut their fingertips. So how you cut their necks? You will use a laser machine? What people use to cut the necks with? I mean, do you see how they try to play games? Do you see the stupidity? It's not only dishonesty, it's stupidity. They are, they are certified liars, but they are stupid. Show me the sword. Okay, show me the sword. Can you show me the sword? There's no sword. <laughs> Why you are lying about the Quran? Why you add, you add a word? You lost to the Quran. Abdul, the verse in the front of you. How you can cut Abdul, the how you, you can you how you can cut the next? You liar! You liar! How you can cut the next? The verse the, the verse the verse says the verse says stupid. Stop talking. The verse does the verse says does the verse does the verse Abdul does the verse says cut their necks and their fingertips. Shut up. Get lost. We can't talk in the same time. Don't you like your prophet? I'm lying. It's in front of you. Cut their fingertips. And this is your Muslim translation, by the way, which is uh, which is a lie. But even though it's clear. That you're a prophet teaching you to cut the necks and get even their fingers to torture them. I'm lying. I'm lying, you coward. Let us go to the interpretation. Chapter 9, chapter 8, verse number 12. Here we go. 
Let us see who is lying. Everybody will see in a second that you are a certified donkey. Here we go. And submit on the necks of their heads and submit them each finger, each shaped finger. Not only you will cut their head, even you are going to torture them and cut their fingertips. Show me the sword. What you cut their necks with? Here we go. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. Let us read together. I shall cast terror and fear into the heart of the disbelievers. So submit above their necks. That is the head, and submit them every finger. That is, submit an extremist of their hands and feet. Thus, when one of them went to strike the disbeliever head, it would roll off before his sword reached it. Show me the sword. Where is the sword? Where is the sword? The potato. Hello? Hello, CP. Yes, my friend. Yeah, uh, I'm a Christian. Sorry for calling. I, I have an uh, important question to ask. Okay. Um, no, when you take every true prophet, something, I mean, he says, it has to come to pass. Is there anything that uh, prophet, uh, uh, Muhammad said that came to pass? Uh, something happened, you mean? Yeah, he, he spoke something. Yeah, and uh, yeah, he did, he did. Is supposed to. Yes, he prophesied. Yeah. He prophesied. He prophesied that he will die by poison if he is a liar. He he prophesied that Allah will cut his altar if he's a liar. If you go and see the hadith, uh -huh. which mean which mean this is which mean even this prophecy proved that he's a liar. If you go in the hadith, Muhammad he never thought he will die in such a way. So Muhammad he said that the poison he ate at Khaybar is cutting his artery. Uh -huh. And this is Sahih Bukhari. This is not weak. This is a strong hadith, as you see. Sahih okay, so Bukhari. what you're saying is uh, the only thing he prophesied and it came true is his death. That's the only thing. That's he is a false prophet. Yes, because if you go in the Quran, in different verse, the Quran yeah. says, Allah said, that if Muhammad is a liar and he is inventing Quran, or inventing words in the name of God, I will yeah. cut his artery or his artery. Chapter 69, verse number 46. So if Muhammad is to invent any of our words, Allah will cut his artery. All right? And this is exactly okay. what happened. And some people, they might say, how this happened? Muhammad is uh, saying that if he, if he is a liar, uh, his artery will cut. Does that mean that Allah is a true God? No. I believe that Muhammad he said that and our Lord he punished him to prove to us that he is a liar because here Muhammad when he made this claim the one who is talking here supposedly is Allah so Allah is saying okay. if Muhammad is lying I will cut his art the artery of his heart and then mm -hmm. what happened is exactly what he promised that if he is lying if he is inventing words about God I will cut his artery so Muhammad here, he created this verse. He never thought that this is what happened to him exactly as he described if he's lying. And this is what we see in the hadith in front of our eyes. Muhammad said, from his own mouth, I feel as if my orta is being cut off from poison. All right. And uh, one more thing, I mean, the Bible says, uh, I mean, I think in, uh, in, the, in the chapter Matthews, hmm. It talks about uh, how you can identify a true prophet. I mean, well, it says yeah, well, uh, the Bible yeah. give a give a certain like a, a category. If the prophet he could not fulfill, he's a false prophet. But however, yeah, something. Yeah, I do not need even it, to go there. You see, the Bible you know says it clearly: whoever yeah. denies the Son and the Father, he's an antichrist. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is, uh, CP. I mean, uh, the Bible says that a true prophet is uh, he will have good fruits. That means he will have a good holy life. Not only that. That is why. Not yeah, yeah, yeah. The the, so the, the I, prophet of God. That, yeah, yeah. The prophet of God is somebody he prophesy in the name of the true God. This is number one. Number two yeah, yeah. is a prophecy come true. Come true. And then, yeah, and, then and there is many other certain things like as you said the ethic and the fruits and etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, but I am trying to conclude is 
what i'm trying to say is um, when you take all the i mean uh, signs of a prophet i don't think uh, muhammad ful- fulfills even one one category so uh, i'm surprised now he fulfilled uh, according to muslims yeah, yeah. he have a very he's a uh, because uh, you see the category of a prophets in islam is different from us in islam yeah. if you are a person who can have sex with all your wives in one hour that's me or prophet yeah so you know you, you need to think about it category based on what in christianity judaism or in islam in islam in order to be a prophet you have to be a child molester you have to be a criminal you have to be a thief you have to be a cheater as his wife even accused him of cheating and they got him busted and you have to be accused to be a thief historian underwear and that will make you a prophet the qualification yeah. for a prophet prophet in islam is different from the qualification of any other one yeah yeah cp and uh, no i'm just uh, seeing one verse i mean i know you don't want to go to the bible to uh, talk about muhammad but i will uh, tell you one verse which i'm sure it will suit uh, muhammad very well i will read one verse matthew 7:20 hmm. it says uh, beware of false prophets right who come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly they are ravenous wolves you will know them by their fruit right concerning prophets jesus status by their fruits you will know them don't you think this uh, uh, this verse suits muhammad <laughs> yeah, he will the, come in, in sheep's in, clothing. In the beginning, yeah. Muhammad he came in a sheep's clothing. He said to the Christian, "I'm not against you. I will not kill you. You go to heaven, no problem." And then he started killing yeah. them. Yes, this what exactly what the wolf does. The same as the story of a uh, fiction story of a, of a girl. Her name Layla and the wolf. You know, yeah. I don't know what is the equal name of the story in English. A little girl uh-huh. where the wolf come to her and he dress as if he is her grandma. That is Muhammad. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, one more thing huh? mm. uh, i don't understand how i mean if you take the life history of muhammad he was one of the most evil persons uh, according even according to the quran will say is uh, as you said uh, as you talk often he was uh, flirting with his uh, son's wife and he was i mean uh, marrying an under underage uh, child and uh, so on and so on so how do muslims claim that he is a, some muslims claim he is a role model how can they say such a thing you see when you are a muslim and you choose muhammad to be the best example of you that's mean you lost your dignity you know when yeah. muhammad as an example he order muslim women to give her boobs to a stranger to suck it in order to stop him from thinking about her in dirty way yeah yeah how yeah. a muslim can accept that unless he is a mad person what kind of a yeah. person he claimed to be a prophet of god he ordered women to wear veil yet he is ordering women to give their breast to a stranger to the point even aisha she was uh, she asked her sister before men they enter upon her that her sister asma she have to give her boobs to any man who want to enter upon her she he have to suck her boobs 10 time so he can get in This, yeah. is, this is not only about about being filthy this is beyond beyond filth this is madness this guy is making fun of them you know yeah 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 uh, uh when and, when when somebody he come to me and says muhammad is a prophet then we see that muhammad he is having sex with a child okay why a man is busy with god worshiping god have no time for anything why he keep yeah. marrying more and more women in the same time one of them is a child she is six years old what yeah. a man what a man at the age of 54 he see in a child at the age of six what he see in her what exactly he like unless he that's, is uh, that's very i mean that's really disgusting i mean uh, you don't want to talk about that uh, either right i mean uh, how much of a sadist he would be to see a, a child in such a way in a in a very lustful way Well, let I mean, us make a challenge. We have many Muslims down in that in the text yeah, in the chat. Yeah, I want sorry, a Muslim. CB's. Yeah, I want a Muslim to call me and show me one good thing about Tipi, Muhammad to be yeah. a good example. TP, one more thing. Right. TP, one last one last thing. Sorry mm-hmm. for your taking your time. Uh, um, <laughs> if you take uh, apologists like Muslim apologists, like uh, for example Shabir Ali, mm. when you when you notice uh, his debates, when a Christian 
when a christian uh, opponent is asking questions about islam why does he always not to answer the question and answer some say something else i mean you understand what i'm saying right yeah, that's what they do this is a, this is a strategy of uh, of uh, of not answering at the same time not saying anything but harm is because he's not sure you see i notice when a muslim he avoid answering the question there's one of two reasons either he do not know what to say and he got shocked or he's tried to avoid to answer which he knew the answer for it because the answering is embarrassing yeah shabir ali is both is a person who claimed mm -hmm. to be a sheikh growing his beard but he know he know nothing about islam mostly yeah same time he is the same as a snake you ask him what's what is the name of your father he starts giving you what he bought as a grocery today yeah so yeah but at, le at least there is a, at least there is one thing good about him he, he, he does it in a respectful way not like uh, people like Muhammad Hijab did you uh, notice no, that uh, Muhammad Hijab is a kid you know it's not the fault of Muhammad yeah. Hijab to be a no. kid it is the fault yeah. of the one who chose to debate. You see, for me, I have my, my Skype. Anyone can call me, even a kid. But I can have quite yeah. a debate, you know. But when yeah. when you debate someone like Hijab, you have to put him in his place. Otherwise, it's not the fault of Hijab to be Hijab. I mean, you bring a monkey in the stage and you wonder why he is jumping like a monkey and talking like a monkey. Well, you are debating a monkey. So yeah. if you are not going to get that monkey busted, why you debate him? No. It's it's very sad, you know. I mean, uh, even before the debate started, I mean, he didn't even shake hands with uh, David Wood. I, you know, the, I, uh, for most, me, actually, yeah. why I want to shake hands with him anyway? I'm not going to shake hands. I'm not yeah. going to shake foot with uh, no, such no. a guy. Uh, David Wood, you see, I don't, I don't, I, I don't want to talk because people they don't like what I say when I say uh, David Wood. He did not good, do a good job. David Wood, he went to the wrong place, yeah, with yeah, the wrong yeah. people when he is not going to do what they do. In order to debate a Muslim, you don't debate, you play games. They are game player. So you need to know that when you debate a Muslim, you are not going to receive answers unless you force him to answer. So exactly, it doesn't yeah. matter if it's Shabir Ali or it's Hijab, both of them they do the same job. But one of them is a smarter, he do it in a polite way. The other one is a monkey, he jump in this in the stage and he start dancing. But both are the same, they will not give a truth unless you force them. So you need yeah. to know before you go in the stage that you are not debating a, a person who is going to give you an answer about his religion you are debating a someone he is going to lie about his religion and about yours yeah, so yeah. debating a liar is not an easy job because now exactly. you have to play a game of hide and seek until you trap him to say the truth like the guy who yeah. was calling me the guy muhammad we ask him is your god allah will make all the, those who they are muslims white in the beginning he said yes and then he he swallowed his tongue because people they start laughing and he said no no the, 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 uh, Allah will make uh, the black people will go to heaven too. black people this is not the question the question is yeah. do your God is go is he going to make all those who believe white and all those who just believe in black this is the question he avoid yeah. for more than an hour to answer the question yeah that's mostly because uh, <laughs> they don't have answers to what you ask no, they have answers. They have no, 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 they have answers. No, they do. He knew. But he will not admit that this is what his religion teach because disgusting is a yeah. shameful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Anyway, thank you, my friend. Let us see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank Muslims you very are. much, uh, CP. Thanks thanks You're, for your time. God bless. You're welcome. God, God bless. bless. Yeah. They, play, they play all kind of games to avoid the question. He answered you about something I did not even ask. I did not ask you if a black people will go to heaven or not. I said, did your God, is he going to make all Muslims white and all non-Muslim black? This is the question. And I repeat the question 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 times. It doesn't matter. Still, he will not answer. Because he knew the second he answered, Islam is doomed. People will notice immediately that this is a very ugly, disgusting cult. And look at them, the potatoes. They call me names. They insult me. Why you don't debate this guy? Why I am here. I challenge you to have Zakir Naik have his Skype open. I will call him. I will be the first to call him. Where are you, Muslims? You don't dare to have an open discussion with anyone because you are afraid of a questions. They will come and you are not capable of answering. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Uh, 
Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, hi, Christian Prince. Uh, you may not remember me, but I called you in October. <coughs> I was a Muslim. Right. I remember. Uh, you remember me? I think. Uh, let me see, because there's many people they call themselves the same name. Yeah, I see. Uh, yeah, I see your text. You are the one who said to me, "You are paid by the Jews." <laughs> yeah. Actually, All right. Yes, Thank you very is. much. Here we go. This is okay, but this text is is uh, uh, okay. So now, what happened? Why you decide? Why now you are saying to me? I see another text from you saying, "I am sorry for saying you you preach hate. I am leaving Islam." So what happened? Oh uh, yeah, actually I left Islam at that day only when I sent you this text. So oh, this is right all. Now, now this is an old text. I see this is an old text. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. So I'm. I am uh, going to leave, uh, leave my country, Pakistan. All right. Well, don't say where are you, my friend. Just be careful. Yeah, no, actually, they, lots of people are having my same name, so they don't know me. But actually, it is a big issue. You know, apostasy is a big, uh, big problem. If they find out, then they will kill me. Yeah, actually, just, you just know, the careful. funny just, thing is... Just be careful, hello? my friend. Just be careful. Don't share your information with anyone. And maybe you can leave the country. Let me ask uh, you. Did, 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 let me yeah. ask you. Did Did you think or consider to be a Christian? Yeah, I'm a Christian. You became a Christian now? No, I. Not, it, not, uh, I, but, I saw your videos. And, okay. Are you thinking uh, about accepting uh, the Messiah? You know, for me, it's very important not only to make you be saved because saving you from Islam does not save you yet. You are not done. My, for me, uh, saving you. Is you reaching the right place, which is to believe in the Messiah, the Christ, as your Savior? So, as long you agree that Islam is a false religion, and you are the one who accused me to preach hate before, but now you discover I'm not preaching hate, and I'm trying to help you. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I That's was, all right. Uh... I I now I offer you the name of my Lord, which is the best of the best, which is the King of Kings, which is the wise of wise, and no one is like him. He is the best of the best, and I invite you to accept his name. As your Lord and as your Savior, forever. I already accepted him. Do you accept him? That's wonderful. Yes. May yeah, the, already. May, I have. I watched your videos and David Wood's video. And all right. A I lot. Feel, I a feel, lot about. I'm happy for you. I'm so glad that you, uh, uh, you, you decide to leave this cult. And I see that in your text you are saying that you said to me when you said to me you are preaching hate. And then, right, like after that, you change your mind. So, what what is the most important video you watch of mine made you like get to the final decision that Islam must be a cult? What I say to you at that time, when you are watching, uh, uh, you you said something about that uh, Muhammad, uh, Muhammad, you know, copied about Blackstone. Uh, I know actually Hindus do believe Blackstone means Shiva. They have Shiva God and they also have that black stone. They right. also do circle, you know, they also uh, walk in circle. So it is all a ritual. I researched about it mm -hmm. and you already uh, told about black stone. And the second thing is about uh, that uh, Varka, Varka, mm -hmm. his uh, uncle, he, after he died, he stopped, stopped receiving that revelation. So then right. I knew that yeah, this is completely false. He's, I mean to that brother. Well, my friend, I have a brother. His name is Sam Shamoon. I don't know if you have his page in YouTube. You can go and visit his page. And if you need any question about Christianity, I'm sure he would be happy. This is his specialty. You know, he teaches the Bible. He's a Bible teacher. You can ask him and he will be happy to help you. Maybe somebody can post for you uh, the YouTube of uh, brother Sam Shamoon. He's a wonderful man. And you can go and learn from him any question you have. Yeah, and actually, you know the the most funny thing. <laughs> uh, my my parents think that I have shaitan in my body. That is why I'm not, uh, you know, um, I'm not going to mosque and uh, following the imam. Yeah, well, they think I. They will. They will. You know. You, you see, if if the if your parents they say to you that you have a shaitan in your body, tell them what's wrong with having shaitan in my body. If the prophet himself used to have a shaitan, isn't it Muhammad who say in the hadith? That he have a shaitan and he, sh his shaitan command him to do good. You know what I mean? Mm. Have you ever heard this before? Yeah, I saw in your video that. See? Uh, so, you 
that so you said that uh, even if shaitan, somebody accuses you show them how hypocrite they are how you reject that I have shaitan just because I left Islam but Muhammad have shaitan is not a problem and his shaitan has command him how can how he can be a prophet and he receive command from the devil and he confirmed that I actually showed you one of your video to my imam and he said that he will debate you but uh, even now he has not yet called you right his name was Mustafa Sheikh something Mustafa Sheikh well I don't know Mustafa. I did not what Mustafa Sheikh Mustafa and USEAFIK FAQ I don't remember anyone call me anyway I ask him if he is there around you if they you know ask him to call me I will be happy to have him uh, I don't I don't know why I he has not yet called I I have told about this two months ago he has not yet called out mm, maybe he watched a little bit and then he said to himself uh oh I will be spanked I better not to call <laughs> I think it will be a language problem for I don't know I, don't know. I will I am here for whoever can call me I you know um, I don't say no to anyone. I give Muslims all the opportunity to call me. I don't care if you are sheikh or you are just a kid. You know, I will talk to you based on who you are. I don't, I don't speak in a high level standard of uh, of uh, of knowledge with someone. He is, uh, you know, not much. I speak, you know, I speak with the kid as a kid. I speak with the adult as an adult. As simple as that. And the point is, we cannot we cannot discuss. Uh, deep information with someone he don't have the capability of, of understanding them so we better speak to him in the way he understood things and he in the way he is able to comprehend and that's what i do yeah and, and you know here we go we are here where is the muslims who want to call us and get us busted yeah christian please i want to ask you about that uh black the black stone that someone stole him and they uh seated on that black stone <laughs> And is that story uh, story true? Yes, actually, there's a video about it. I have it in YouTube. Search in YouTube. I, I am the one who made the translation for it. A sheikh he was t talking about Al Qurmuti, who was screaming in the middle of the Kaaba after he destroyed it, and he took the black stone and he was saying to Allah, "Where is your birds?" Because the Quran, in the chapter of the elephants, speak that Allah He sent His birds to fight an army of elephants, which an army of Christians came to destroy the Kaaba. So in that story, he was speaking about it. And how the guy he took the black stone for more than 21 years and by the way the muslim now they don't have the black stone no more they're trying to resemble the shape of the black stone if you go in the black stone let me see if i can show you that if you go to the black stone i will search in google try to find a picture of a, clo a close by picture uh, <clears throat> Okay, it is a small tiny stones left over of the original black stone and they glue it together by wax. Let me see if I can get a close capture. We need to find a more clear actually here we go actually this is my this is the picture i made <laughs> look you see the pictures i made they are in the internet now here we go okay if you look here with me in the screen yeah actually maybe if i um let us see if we can zoom more you will see that the black stone is not a black stone no more there is little tiny stones and the rest is wax the rest is wax you see them so yeah they put wax to complete the shape of the black stone which is used to be before like this but now they don't have it and here the question is if allah he put the black stone and to be there until the judgment day how allah could not protect the black stone and now we have little tiny pieces and the muslim they are kissing it and licking it the fact they are not licking the black stone, they are licking the wax, which is something they do always to the uh, black stone. I, I made a video actually about it, about doing maintenance to the black stone. They do maintenance every every month. What is the maintenance? They do touch up for the wax, which is gone by the by uh, uh, by people touching it, 
otherwise the stones will come out you can steal those stones you can take them off they are stone they are small stones they are it's not it's not a piece it's not a it's not a big stone it's a small tiny stones I think it's eight stones left and uh, uh, this is what the Muslims have okay yeah yeah I, I, I saw this one I actually this one only I told you that so look like some they copied the this from other religions you see here like they, here they make they make a like a do you see guys the the image here somebody made the resembling for them do you see there is there is oh, let us see how many I think they are eight uh, eight yeah eight small stones see it yeah I guess. yeah this is what is left of the stone so what they are kissing they are kissing the walks and here in the picture they are making it look bigger but the fact they are small really small yeah but this is not the original one no they are not uh, because there's no proof that this is the original anyway you know the Muslims they had to pay they had to pay for uh, al Qurmuti to get the black stone back mm. you see it here we go look how small guy do you see this is when they are doing maintenance to it look at this one let us highlight them one let us see let us make an arrow so this is one this is two this is a three this is four this is five this is six this is seven and this is eight so i was right it is it's eight stones that's it and six, eight, small, this is what is left of uh, this is what is left of allah <laughs> and this is the original one this is what is left of allah stone i mean what, what a joke no i mean this is the original one this no they, they, cl they claim they claim that those stones they are from the original but if you notice they are different color like if you look with me here that this one doesn't look the same color as the other one you see here this one this one is dark black right and this one is kind of white yeah so uh, what do we have today is this one this is all this is all artificial this is all stupid this is pagan anyway i mean what even if the stone is there or not who care but as you see even that stone which muslim they claim that allah he sent is not is, is gone there's nothing left of it few tiny pieces and the muslims are licking it and touching it which means by two or three hundred from years years from now there's nothing will be left as long they are exposed for <laughs> people to touch them by time they will be they will, they will be gone uh, i wish i can show you how they do because uh, if, i'm afraid if i play the video of uh, the maintenance they do to the black stone but you can search for it in, in youtube you will see how they do maintenance to black stone every month there's a, okay, uh, there's, a there's a guy there's a professional guy from pakistan he is the one who do the maintenance for the black stone he put wax which is called the amber you know amber amber okay that's why it looked dark in color it's, it's expensive wax very expensive wax this is not something cheap you know so what do you say maintenance of the huh maintenance of the of the black stone what, whatever left of the black stone let us say so they have to do maintenance for it every month to to fix uh, uh, the damage for the wax and as you yeah, see I... it is and as you see it is in the shape of a vagina we're showing miracle of that stone <laughs> yeah anyway my friend thank you for calling i'm so happy for you that you left islam and you became a christian if you have any question for me please let me know all right Thank you for coming. Thank you. God bless you. Pardon? See, he said to me, "You preach hate." He hated me first. <laughs> this is a very normal response. I always hear from Muslims, but later they leave Islam. And you will notice how the tone of the man change. Look, this guy he called me before. He said two months ago maybe we can go if somebody can go and find his call before you will see that the right right away when someone leave islam his his the tone of his voice change the anger the evil it goes look how peaceful he is 
He is peaceful. He is happy. He is comfort. He is in his comfort zone. He don't feel angry. He is not possessed by the devil of Islam. Right away, something will change inside you. It's not just you see when we when we became a Christian. It's not about just okay. I believe in Christ. There is something will change on you. The aggressive will be peaceful. The criminal will be an like like an, he will act like an angel. And for sure, we are talking about somebody truly he believe in Christ, not somebody by name. Otherwise, there's many people they wear a cross, but they are criminals. Actually, they wear the cross to insult Jesus. The same as we see, like you know, many people they they, they dress wearing a cross, but the fact they are wearing clothes is far away from Christ. It's just a decoration for them. Do we have any Muslim? Who is a Muslim? Only Muslim, please call me. I don't want to take a call from Christians. Only if you are a Muslim or you left Islam. Anyone? And as you see, this is what is left of Islam or the, the stone of Allah. That's it. This is what is left. What is that? And what 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 is this religion is about? Look here, here this guy is doing the the maintenance. Look, look, you see this picture? You see he have a he have a flame. What they call it, the machine, the one with the with the with the with the gas. He have the flame to burn the wax. To melt it to to make it work around the, the stone here we go look 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 there we go we found some pictures do you see do you see guys this is the maintenance they do to the black stones because the black stone will disappear if they don't fix it look they are doing the fixing look look at this if the black stone is holy and Allah he sent it why Allah don't do the fixing <laughs> Why Allah don't preserve the stone? Rahim is coming from the warned womb, yes. From Rahim. Do you see it? Why, why if this is a stone sent by Allah, why we need to, to do maintenance to it? Allah will do the maintenance. This is his stone. And those are the stones. Look here, this picture is perfect. You can see it better. Is it showing you guys more? Is this one showing you more? Look at this one here. Do you see the real stones? The rest is amber, which is amber in English, I think. It's an expensive material, which is taken, I think, from the, supposedly from the whale or from the deer uh, uh, testicles. This is what this is what the black stone is. There's no black stone. It's a joke. It is a joke. This is what you are kissing? You stupid people. Are you are you are you serious? They fool you, they bring you all the way from Pakistan to kiss this. Dr. Zakanaik, when you are going to go to Hajj, but the tata, they're the person. He named the crypto prince and the old one he made fun of the black stone. First of all, the black stone is the holy stone. And brother, if you get a close to it, it smells like perfume. And this is additional proof that the black stone is from God. Otherwise, what turns so good? You put wax around it, made it from amber. Amber smells good, you idiot liar. You are not kissing a stone. This is amber. You see how much amber? All of this is amber. What a pagan religion and then they say to you they say to us we christians they say we are pagan we don't worship stones we don't kiss stones once a muslim said to me do you kiss a cross let us say somebody he kiss a cross but this is not really from a christianity why you need to kiss a cross anyway but let's say you kiss a cross at least the cross is symbolic for what jesus did you are kissing the stone for what reason and a stone in the shape of a vagina 
and a stone reported that the Arab before you used to put their hand, the women they used to put their hand in their vagina when they have their period and they place their hand inside the stone asking the God of fertility to fertilize their private part. The silver is is the shape is the is a shape of a vagina. You see, in the old days they used to do the same, but now they, because they got money, they 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 make it. Uh, this is not silver. This is, I think, uh, uh, white gold, mostly. Maybe I'm not sure from what it's made, but uh, uh, but the shape is not something the Muslims they came with. This is how it used to be before. But after they lost the real stone, the Muslims are trying to resemble the old the, the old stone. You know what I mean? The old black stone, which is in the shape you see, is gone. This is the original shape. It's gone. As you see, there's a few pieces left. So now to resemble those stones, they use wax. They use the frame to make it look like the way it used to be. Do we have any Abdul black stone kisser? As you notice, guys, I'm trying to do live broadcast in the morning. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it at night so I can get people from around the earth. It doesn't matter what they are, where they are. So those who live in India, etc., I'm doing sometime a very early morning broadcast. Just please subscribe so you will be notified as soon as I am on air. Because sometimes I don't know really what time I will be there. But if I know, I will post in advance and you will know. Don't forget to subscribe to my Instagram. As you see, Arabian Prophet Instagram. And I am posting always an Instagram when I go on air. So if you have Instagram, you will be informed. Subscribe, follow me there. You will be able to, to, to join us. So... I think today we have we shared a lot of good things with all of you and maybe it's enough for today it's already we have a good time and we showed you that Muslims have no answers Islam is nothing but a pagan cult stupid cult based on sexuality the black stone is a vagina the heaven of Allah is always about vagina and long penis and 70 years orgasm, which is very stupid. I mean, why I want to have 70 years orgasm? What about 10 years? Imagine I go to visit Shabir Ali. I knock at the door. Shabir Ali, he cannot answer because he's having orgasm. Uh, okay, so I come next year. I knock at the door. I listen. Uh, oh, Shabir Ali still having orgasm. I will come next year. 10 years after. 20 years after. 30 years after. 60 years after, 70 years after, still Shabir Ali having orgasm. And you are telling me why Muslims don't debate you? They are having orgasm, my friend. 70 years orgasm. They have a unique God. is the, is the God of orgasm. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion more than this? Be honest with yourself. Even if you are a Muslim. How you can believe in such a garbage to be something from God? Okay, there is some of you asking me to talk with them in Skype. But guys, not now, maybe later. All right, because today I'm, um, you know, I, I, uh, I need to do some stuff. And maybe later you can text me if I am not on air and I have time, we can talk in Skype. All right. I want to say thank you for all of you for being here. And I hope that uh, people will learn. And if you are a person looking for more handy information, don't forget you can get my books from Amazon. You know, uh, we have in many languages, not only in, uh, you know, in English, we have in French, in German, in Swedish, uh, in uh, Dutch, etc. And soon we will have in the language of Malaysia as a country. So the Malay language, I think it's called. So people who speak that language, they will be able to learn and read. I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you.
and enter will see you soon again Christ is Lord and Islam made by a dummy for the dummies and I am sure none of us is a dummy unless you choose to thank you and see you soon again bye bye